welcome to Brawlhalla. It's the Autumn Championship live from Atlanta, Georgia. The final seasonal event to kick off our run towards the World Championship less than a month away. And of course, as we do, we got to kick it off with the Australian region. The thing I'm going to be looking for is if is who are the people that are going to be the big representatives for Australia going to that World Championship? Who are the people that we got to keep our eyes on? Because as I checked in with the bracket today, I'm like, I don't. I don't know that name. I don't know that name. Who are these people that maybe are people that we're going to have to be, you know, sweating about in a couple in a couple weeks? That's the interesting part, and that's what we all want to see when we watch these tournaments. We want to see the upsets. We want to see the new names. It, you know, you want to root for the guys that you've seen winning a lot, right? You get accustomed to them. You become fans of them. But at the same time, new blood makes things exciting. So to see these new names coming up in the bracket now, you said a couple of them you recognize. And I know the community guys out there will recognize them also. But there's some that I didn't, I'm didn't. i not too familiar with, right? So to see people coming up and making their waves, I'm always here for that. I'm always ready to see it. Yeah, it's going to be an exciting time. Again, we are going to be getting into the top four of things with Australia. They've already been going. We already know it's really late into the hours here, so it's probably a really convenient time for them there. And so that's how time zones work. But <laughs> currently sitting in the top side, I believe there's Herm and Dummy. And then on the bottom side, I saw Goddess. I saw Kyler Alice. I saw Badai. I saw Moxies and Ashoks, and I probably forgot a name. But there's a lot of people still currently playing for the Australian region. You got it. You got it. You missed Rygundis. I did. You See, I knew there guns. was one. There's, that's why whenever you start making a list, you have to stop early because you're like, and everyone else. And everyone else, exactly. That one person is like, oh, come on. <laughs> My name wasn't memorable. That all, you know, all these guys, you know, yeah. <laughs> all and more. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm going to go and call it, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to do this, but I got to call it, guys. Y'all, y'all, y'all believe me out there? All the people watching, Rygundis is smacking this up, right? Oh, okay. You're already, you're already putting your chips in the Rygundis basket. I mean, Rygundis is just like that. Okay. You know, it's always good to get in early on the ground floor of people on the come up. So I think, I think you're really smart. Um, I am old and crazy, and I'm gonna keep rooting for Kyler Alice, even though. Let's be real. He's probably gonna go home with a fourth place finish. I'm sorry, no, Kyler. No, I love you, no. but just like. <laughs> Come on, man. We know. <laughs> you know, like see, that. you I, went three-two against her. I'm like, come on. Yeah. I want Kyler. I want Kyler to have that pop off again. Cause when I first came in as a caster with you guys, I, I mean, Kyler was just so exciting to watch. I, I did the. I did this region all the time, and and I love watching his play. And I just need his rise to fame again, man. He is so nice to see, and he's such a nice person in general. Once we started doing in person again, and I got to talk to him a little bit, you know, he, it made me more of a fan of Kyler Alice. Yeah, I do. I like Kyler Alice is a, a great person. Like he's like a friend of us here on the desk and all that because he's been able to make it out to the most stuff. He's been a longtime representative of Australia. I'm hoping he'll come to the World Championship regardless of his placements here. But still, it's just, you know, there's been a lot of other people coming up in the region, which is kind of the case. That's always the case, right? Always you know, the case. every region, people are starting to come up. And right now we're talking about this new kid on the come up, Herm. And on the other side, Ray Gundas, who you were talking about, of course, uh, definitely doing very well for himself right now. PR number two sitting on the top side, hasn't lost a set today. Same with Herm, but Herm is, is the big old goose eggs, except for these three top 32s. Yeah, you ain't lying. But I mean, interesting enough, you know, I said Rygundis is like that. No silvers, at least, right? I would, I could just say no golds, no silvers, at least, and only two bronzes. You know, a, a good, a good, a uh, few top eight placements, nine of them, and then we got the twelve on the on the on this right here. But that's some good bucks. Yeah, that's some good bucks that, to have no gold. That's a nice, that's a nice stipend. Of course, that's in USD and not Australian bucks. So I don't know how the uh, translation goes. For that, but I know that it costs them a lot more Australian dollar dues to do stuff. So, <laughs> dollar dues. It's was insane. That okay, it was yo, a real talk, and I, I feel y'all Australians. It's crazy that digital goods cost inflated Australian amounts when y'all don't have to deal with exports and import tax. Well, like I'm just saying, it. I feel y'all <laughs> Australia. Okay, that's one thing where I sympathize. The insects, I'm no. You can keep those, but I just I sympathize on the the taxes <sighs> they're dealing with they're dealing with high rates snakes <laughs> kangaroos. <laughs> kangaroos come on man you guys got it tough out there yeah but well, they're always happy like how 
you know, there's just it's just something about the uh, the air in Australia. As we get ready to get into <laughs> game number one, Herm and Rygundas, again, this is the top side winner. This is going to go straight into the grand finals. So, you know, Rygundas is looking for that easy dub right here. You know, it's probably not going to be too easy, but we will see. Getting into this one, reaching into the championship Whoa. bag okay. and going with the Kaya pick. I like that on Herm's side and Rygundas. Over here with the Hattori. We got the reset coming in here. Hattori definitely getting a lot more love as of late. Same with Kaya to a degree. Like, a lot of people started to see, you know, Impala. He's the big Kaya person. He put Kaya exactly. back on the map. And so we're like, more people starting to pick up that Kaya. We've seen it do very well. That signature kit in particular on the bow, that 50-50, really tricky. Hattori's been a great staple for a long time, but we're starting to see her come back into the meta. A lot of it off of uh, that hammer nerf that happened a while back. So mm -hmm. people are starting to pick up that Hattori again. I know Rygundas has been on that Hattori. I like the Hattori, but I'm really curious, again, how Herm is going to lean on this Kaya. <sighs> man, you talked about the bow sig pack, man. I mean, don't sleep on that that spear sig pack. Yeah. The <laughs> down sig, you know, just the hitbox of it, you know what I mean, and how active it is. And then you talk about the, the neutral sig. I mean, come on. Both of those are just monstrous sigs. Absolutely. Very I mean, good um, dodge read uh, type, type sig. Yeah. Well, we'll see if uh, Herm has the early reads on the Rygundas. Already starting off with the bow, but Rygundas is beginning that damage with the unarmed onto Herm. All right, sword in hand now. Just getting a nice little side air. Good dodge away, avoiding that classic bread and butter from the bow players. Good jump read there from Rygundas. Got an immediate side air. Ooh. Oh, he went out there. Ooh, I like it. I would have did the same thing. I don't know if you doing what I would do is the best play, but it was <laughs> it was good. It, it didn't overcommit, right? Stopped it early because if you go a little too low right there, Ragundas dodges and then and now you're in trouble. But still in trouble. Good side air. Makes it back on stage. All right, nice neutral light to start off this uh, spear play coming out from Ragundas. Going to start going for pogos. You see how high he's going. But good job avoiding Herm's down air. Oof. Oh Ooh, my goodness! Okay, low. hold on, that okay. Now, and this might be One the more. end of the stock. I don't One see more. how you make it back. Oh, oh wow. helps him out. Okay. Does he, does he have some special? No, just the side air. Okay. <laughs> he's been money with the side airs, right? I think he's, he has. Uh, he's four for four, four, right? Yeah. Four for four, five for five, something like that. Getting some good hits in with that spear side air, and it looks like that's the big weapon he wants to play with. But ended up throwing it away as Herm got a little too close there. The startup frames of that weapon toss getting through him. I think he's got a pretty even spread with him, right? He started off pretty nice with the sword. He got a, a lot of damage racked up and decided to close out with the spear. Off of, off of a weapon toss, switched over now. And he's just tacking on damage. What a fast ooh, Oh, my ooh. gosh. That was clean. That was a nice succession of damage. I like the way he did that juggle, too, because he'd, like, kind of pop up, hit him with a vertical move, something like a nair recovery. Then he'd go back down, wait for him to burn an option. Then again, nice weapon toss to stop that SIG as well. Ooh. That was, man, right gun. This is on one right now. Oh. Good, Sarah Herm trying to get this first stop. Oh. oh, don't come out here with me. Oh, what you man, doing? Herm. Don't come out here with me. Right, Gundis cleaning up stock number two of Herm, and it is looking quite easy, like you mentioned in the beginning. Man, that's painful for Herm, though, because he got that side air, and you knew he wanted to finish that off. You saw him go to the offstage, clinging onto that wall, but right gun does his side air just came out a little bit earlier and ended up turning that situation around. Oh, my. Gosh, no weapons, just throwing straight fisticuffs. Ooh. The ground pound, the spinnerooski will get it done. <sighs> Sitting on yellow on the final stock, Herm is going to have a rough one bringing this one back, especially the way that Rygundis has been playing. His movement's been clean, getting some good damage, and he has weapon in hand. The battle begins to try to hold on to this final stock and run oh. it back, missing. Oh, my gosh, just getting torn up oh my down God. air after down air, pogo after pogo. He's getting so much damage on each of those pogos. Herm already getting into the red here. Raigunda's maybe going to make the swap over to the sword for the easy KO tools, those downlight recoveries. Okay. Moving, grooving. Raigunda's looking like he's just got extra oh, stats. Red oh, that was a good one. That was a nice catch on the dodge. It's unfortunate they were so far to the right there for Herm, but a good pogo and the weapon toss still not quite enough, and Rygundas fights his way back up. Very interesting that he made that back, and downlight side air might spell doom for Herm. Weapon toss is a good way to save it. Oh. Ground pound, I thought he was going to go for a dare. Ooh. That could have been it. And no more resources to make it back to the stage. Herm going to fall in game number one. Rygundas up 1-0. Good plays coming out from Rygundas. A lot of it felt like solid spear play, and then the sword, of course, I mean, consistent as well but the spear is the big highlight tool for me for Rygundas right like he was getting those juggles he was just catching her left right and center the juggle game man yeah. that, that one moment was just 
impeccable. I wish we had a replay right now because I wanted to see that again. It was like some of that eluded me. I didn't quite see exactly how he kept that juggle alive. It just looked mad sweet. Yeah, he was doing <laughs> that really well. And you talked about his movement. I think that was one of the big things there. On the other side, Herm, what's the change up? Is it going to try to stay more grounded, maybe avoid that juggle position, or maybe try to have a different weapon? Maybe he'll be one of those people who likes to throw down so he can get out of those juggles a little bit earlier. We'll see what he does. We'll see what happens, but right now, unarmed against the spear that did so much work last game and beautiful damage. Weapon Starve is alive. Ragunda's trying to get this one started early. And there we go. We got the bow. Now we can fight back a little bit. Herm trying to box. Getting a couple side there's I like it. Tacking on some little bit of damage. And now it's much, e much more even than it was last game. It started off really, really heavily in Ragunda's favor. And this is, this is actually in the favor of Herm. Yeah, this is uh, reasonably even, all things considered. Good pogo there from Rygundas. Oh, dodge was still up there. Rygundas went for the early commit with that down air. Or, sorry, that down light. Ooh, off oh, on the side. Center. The side air. He's been money. Pogo. Still touched. Oh, Ooh. a little early recovery just for damage. Okay. Back in the news. Back in the news. This is where you want to be if your Herm tries to go for the down sig. The back step on it falls off the side of the stage. I don't know if that's what you wanted, but it definitely worked out. I mean, kept mm. him a little safe there. Downlight side air. Weapon toss connects, and Herm going to take the first stock here in game number two. So you think Ragundas didn't have his dodge readily available, or do you think he just didn't think that was going to hit him? I think he just didn't think that was going to hit him. That's he, what I'm He feeling. watched it happen, and he was like, I could drift past this. <laughs> I, I swear sometimes it feels like when somebody throws a weapon at you off stage, it's like it's homing. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the worst is when when uh, you are like you're committed to your jump already and it hits you in the face and you're like, man, I shouldn't have done that. I, I know, it. right? I knew better. Good down air there from Rygundas, though, going to clean up that stock. Did take a decent amount of damage there from Herm, though. Herm looking pretty solid here in game number two. Yeah, looking way better than game number one. Still got a lead damage-wise, but we see Rygon is trying to kick it up. Ooh, goes for the early KO. Tried to rob him with that ground pound. No good, though. Good dodge placement from Rygon. The side air placement is good. Side air right back after Ooh. Herm. Tricky Ensig there. Rygundas almost jumped up into that one. Pogo opportunity. Oh, but he was on stage, so he bounces him up, actually. You know, you'll still take the damage. Ooh, oh, what a catch. He uses so the clean. platform to perfection. Yeah, that platform, the ledge cancel downlight, getting that height so fast. Rygundas was not ready for that. And now Herm in the red. He needs to get some extra damage. Good spot dodge to get through that side air, but he needs to hit Rygundas here. Rygundas really wants to get this without taking too much damage. Down like the wrong direction. Unfortunate. He could have had the stock right there, but the side air on the chase will get the job done. All right, weapon pick goes for the uh, spear. Unfortunate, I think he was trying to go for a fall off Nair there, ended up getting a neutral light. The down lights from Herm have been very peak right now. Like, he's catching every one of them. Yeah, he's definitely noticing Rygundas likes to jump a little bit too much. He's been really good with those uh, spear side airs, which is why he gets away with it. Mm -hmm. But Herm's starting to hone in on, like, where to pick apart Rygundas. Good dodge in there, though. Get some Ooh. open air. Ooh. Wasting all the resources. Finally, a good dodge from Herm, but getting picked up. Chased out. Oh. The ground pound almost hits the mark, but that spear, you got to hit him right on top of the noggin to get the job done. Hounding, harassing. Right gun just trying to nice. close this one. Not enough. Still not enough. Dude, the ceiling. You got to be an airbender to get a KO on the top of this map. And Herm with the neutral air. There it is. That has to be enough. I'm about to say, come on now. Dude, that way was stubbornness from Rygundas. I think any other player is like, all right, I'll just stare. I'll just, I'll, fine, I will side air. But Rygundas is like, no, I got to, it has to KO. Oh, man. If I was Rygundas, I would be unbelievably hurt if I would have lost that game. <laughs> After that one that didn't KO, if, if he turned, turned around and lost that one, oh, my goodness. It would have been absolute pain. Definitely would be salty on that one. But we're getting ready to get into the next one. Uh, didn't actually catch the map bans on that one, but yeah. no character swaps. This has been the commit, and it looks like we're going to Western Air Temple three, for two, another one, one here, game four. number three. Yeah, I mean, this is a nice stage. Yeah, I always think that like these are like the most balanced stages. You get two plats, they don't move. Well, if they are moving, they do yes, move. yeah. <laughs> but, but, but like th there's a lot of safety yeah. when plats are high like that. 
right? You got the lower ones, you can kind of catch some SIGs through and you can jump, you can get some down lights with the spear mm -hmm. and things like that. But generally, you know, you're going to play around the higher one like they are right now. And that, that's a good look. I think that's safe play. Yeah. What? It's the same place right now. Because Raigunda's back on the spear, trying to get those vertical juggles. Ooh, good pogos. Hermison not able to challenge vertically, but... Oh, narrowly like. avoids that. Ooh. Yo, another one. Oh, ground pound is good. Oh. Pogo into the ground pound. The weapon toss was not enough to save the day. One stock up. Ragundis trying to make it a 3-0. Look at the weight, man. The he's, weight he's feeling good. Playing. Yeah, he's feeling it. Oh, man. Look at that. Dude, I love that. The sideline empty jump right on top of Herm. Herm is just getting picked apart, right? Gundas, so clean. One more pogo. No, the fans doesn't, doesn't need, need it. it. Doesn't need it. Yo. What a performance right now from, you know, my pick, Rygundas. <laughs> <laughs> nice pick up. The, another down line for Herm. That has been the play of the day. That has been the answer. But, I mean, it's just not enough so far. You're down heavily trying to bring this one back. Still alive, you know. Got to rack up some damage right now. Try to go for a weapon storm. I know you want to keep this this uh, spear. It's been your bread and butter. Oh, okay, you had one prime. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, now I get it. Just so deny. you got the web star. Nope. Ragon just gets over there, gets the sword. Nice neutral air. Okay, read the dodge in there with that neutral air. Oh, oh okay, my good. goodness. Oh, went for the turnaround there, but that ceiling is just so stinking high. Oh, I didn't even realize this one was that high. Like, that is very, very high. To not get that after turning that around and landing a recovery? Like, come on. I think the height is based off of the uh, the maximum height of those soft platforms, and that might be why it's it's incredibly high sometimes. Interesting. Very interesting. You know? oh. Herm, you know, this is very doable. Well, if you keep from getting hit. It's becoming increasingly less doable <laughs> as I try to get this sentence out. All right, bink, 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 wait, bink, wait. bink. That was not enough. Ceiling is... <laughs> Maximum height. Punish? Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Dog, that's crazy. Just KO off the side at this point. Like, <laughs> Just bing, bing, bing. And he's stubborn. <laughs> he goes for the recovery once again. Ry Gundis with the 3 0 and the sportsmanship. GG's. 555. Five, five. 555 damage in that game. Ooh, what a round. Good damage, Ry Gundis. Closing out with the 3 0. He's going into the grand finals. And Herm now has to kind of. Figure out what worked best. I think the spear play was viable at times, but then Raigundas was just getting in. He had a big enough lead that wasn't quite enough. That last highlight was way more disgusting than I thought. Yeah. The, Hopped at him. The whiff and then with jumped with them, like, cancel. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm, I'm right in your face. I see you, and I'm about to wait until the last peak of it. He waited until the end of the gravity cancel. I mean, end of the dodge and did the gravity cancel. Clean. Clean. That was so nice. So nice. I wish Remy was here to break that down. He would, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he would make that feel like it was uh, the give NBA Finals. Give it the analysis that it needs. But uh, really well played from Ry Gundas. Like I said, he's going in the Grand Finals. Now we got to figure out what's going on in the elimination side of things because that's where things get more intense. Yeah, we're definitely jumping down there. And uh, we're going down there with the names that I don't particularly remember all of. But I do know we got Goddess down there. Yep, Goddess, got Goddess down there. Still down there as uh, she's going up against Kyler Alice. Moxie's beat out Shock and is now going to be going up against Dummy. That's what's happening on the elimination side. Goddess and Kyler Alice. That's going to be, I feel like that's going to be a really good one. Mm -hmm. I'm calling game five on that one. Okay. I'm calling game five on that one. I think Kyler's going to turn up. How you feeling? You, you, you think? You <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> You know, you know. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing about Kyler Alice. Right? Okay, okay. Is whenever I want to talk about Kyler Alice, I have to think about his peak, what it used to be, and where it's at now. It's like you know, it's like if you said like Jordan versus LeBron, and everybody wants to be like, yo, but peak Jordan, maybe, but Jordan right now is like a seventy year old man, <laughs> and so like we got we got to keep it stack, all right? Right, right. And so right. when you when you tell me Kyler Alice versus Goddess, I'm like. Yo, Pete Kylie, maybe, but like, you know, he he came He's in top side. He came run. in top side of top eight. So you know what? You know what I, I gotta give him credit where credit's due. But I don't know. I just I have a hard time. I've been burned too many times on the Kyler Alice uh, belief. All right, everybody out there, y'all let us know what y'all think before so, the game starts. Y'all let so us know in that chat. Somebody will tell me. I'm not looking at the stream right now. Y'all say in the chat what y'all think. Do y'all believe in Kyler? 
Do y'all believe in Kyler? One's in chat if you believe in Kyler. One's in chat if you believe in Kyler. Two, for B- goddess. B-H-T-H-N-X. If <laughs> <laughs> Make their job as hard as possible. Oh. Ooh. Hey, I like this. We got a Jiro pick. Okay. Really? Interesting. Jiro, you don't see a lot. Not a lot of people like that, like, low defense. Jiro ends up having some high decks and comes in with some trickiness and unarmed plays starting off for Goddess. Yeah, this is a heavy, like, outplay character. You, yeah. If you're losing, like, it's just very hard to stay in the game with this, with a character like this, with low damage. I mean, low uh, defense. But, you know, if you're winning, it's very hard for the other character to play neutral against characters like this. Kyler playing very nice on the side of the stage at the moment. Neutral, light with the hammer. Try to go for the Nair, no good. Sayer, no good. Oh, my goodness. Goddess just can't find the touches. Stomp, Sayer, weapon toss, and the dodge is expended Ooh. into the down air. Kyler Alice looking spicy out there. So well timed, too. You saw the stars come out. Goddess was trying to recover and catch Kyler Alice. Ooh, good dodge through from Kyler Alice, but definitely not done here for Goddess. You know, you know what? Hold on. I'm ashamed of uh, of Goddess. Where, where's the Yoshimitsu? What are we doing here? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Come on. How you pick? Yoshi's out there. You, you got to run the Yoshi Mitsu. Hey, Kyle, Hey, hold up, man. Kyler <laughs> Saucin. Kyler Saucin. Yo. Keep her on the corner. Yeah. Keep her on the corner. Oh. She cannot get past the wall of Kyler Alice. Finally gets in, but oh. he doesn't jump for the side air. Uh -oh. oh, that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's first stock. Okay. Goddess they gets so the first stock. There. Well, all right, all right. That was looking clean, though. It yeah. was cooking. That was like a solid minute where Kyler Alice was just locking Goddess to the right side open air. Stomp, side air, stock's gone. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, he got that one out of there swift and easy. Recovery. Recovery. Oh, no you put pad? yourself in danger. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that was at white, so didn't want to overcommit there. Ooh, okay. Good turn around. Stomp, scoop up. You know what I'm liking about how Kyle is playing right now? It's like he is the aggressor. Like I feel like meta-wise, like a lot of people don't really force the issue a lot, and he is just swinging. I'm Whoa. loving it. Look at it. What are you doing, man? Like <laughs> he's so aggressive. He did gravity cancel side sig with both of our hammer. Stomp there. We'll do it. Ooh. Kyler Alice was he a back? Clean victory. Is, is he, he back? back? Old man's on. back. Got some. He got that. Uh, that uh, Bugs Bunny juice, right? <laughs> Michael's secret stuff. Yeah, exactly. yeah, it's like, <laughs> Michael's secret stuff. All right, here we go. Uh, oh. Kyle Alice, game two. God is still sticking with the Jiro. Interesting. I, I, I didn't hate the Jiro, but I didn't love the Jiro. Like honestly, Kyle just was cooking. Well, see, that, that's that's what I was getting at earlier. Three, if you don't two, get to play, one, it looks really bad with a character like yeah. this. Yeah. But if if God is just believes, if I can get started. Then I can just tear him to shreds. In neutral, he shouldn't be able to abuse me like this. Starting off Peter with the weapon, Pan. weapon star, believe. gets the scythe. And Kyler unarmed, no. just boxing with scythe off stage? Are you yeah. nuts? That is uh that's bold. That is confidence. But Kyler Alice, he's looking really good. Honestly, like his movement so far has been really solid. That's what I'm really liking. Yeah, his movement, his little short hops, little swivels into Sayers. Like he is cooking right now. Okay, nice side light there. Just keeping that pressure going on the goddess. Couldn't get that scoop out, but Goddess now. Trying to play that edge guard. Good spacing from Goddess. Very good spacing, but man, what a punish from Kyler Alice. Just hops out there to the left, said, I ain't going back to the stage. You're going oh. to the top of the stage. He's gets the first stop. Yeah, like, yeah, yo, like, let's think about that. We're talking about his movement. He's doing that with the hammer, bro. He's moving and grooving with the hammer, my dude. The hammer. Bro, it's good. Nair coming out from Kyler Alice, keeping that string alive. Goddess. Off stage, Kyler went for the weapon toss there. Unfortunate, didn't connect. Yeah, he had another hammer prime. This is exactly what he wanted. Ooh, Get nice space out though. God is looking for something. Ooh. That's still not gonna be enough, man. This is rough. Oh. Scoop a dupe. Weapon toss. Oh, oh missed he it. He was just off. Still hanging out there. Wants it. All right, over to the sword. Still not enough. Jiro's everywhere, crying in pain. Ground Pound <laughs> will finally get that KO. And that's what I'm talking about, right? It's, Jiro does not have the most strength, so you make up for it by being extra aggressive and keeping that pressure on. But Goddess just can't. So what do you think? What do you think about? Like I see you go for the defense stack, right? But then you're. It's like you don't have the attack. I know if you go with the attack, right? With Jiro, it does put you down to uh, uh, two pips of defense, correct? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I mean, if you. 
it, with a character like this where you're nope. gonna die anyway, nope. what's the difference? Oh, Kyler's still touched, man. He was sweat beating. Down Dang, like ground pound. Kyler Alice looking solid. But that was a great string from Goddess. Um, kind of to to answer your question, I lean towards strength stance on Jira. I think you got to you got to go for those KOs and just utilize the fact that you got high dex so that you can kind of get away with a couple more whiffs. Good spot dodge though from Kyler Alice. So good. Doesn't even want to go challenge. Kyler's been doing so well on the side of the stage. Goddess didn't go out there with the scythe of all weapons to close that stock out. Ooh, Ooh. nice, nice side sig. Yo, this is doable. Very doable. Very doable. Much closer game than the first one. Yeah, that sight coming alive for Ghanas here, and Tyler Alice doesn't have a hammer spawn. It's a sword. Oh, I think that was a read, or maybe, no, that was supposed to be a GC downline. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense. That makes sense. Because I, like, I definitely thought weird. it was a read on him fastballing. Yeah. Ooh, it's looking, ooh, it was looking so good yeah. until it didn't. Weapon toss. Ooh, oh my gosh. Ooh. This is so dangerous for both players. You know, actually, I will say that defense uh, pip actually saved the day right there. That would have sure. been the stock. Kept for her sure. alive. Yeah. All right. Weapon spawn. Good Ooh. play from Kyler. Saw the weapon was there, baited like he was going to get it, but Goddess overcommit with the side sig, and Kyler lands, hits the haymaker, and he, he's up 2 0. Changed his name from Kyler Alice to Sir Duffington. He got that stock. Oh, see, you know, well, maybe that was the play right there because that's the same thing. That we okay, that we just saw okay, like that's okay. like the same sequence, so maybe it wasn't the I don't know, I don't know. Scoop a dupe. Oh my gosh, that's the that's the most painful thing to try to challenge the hammer on the side of the stage, yeah. and then you're like they're not gonna get me with that, and then they do because you missed something that you should have hit. <laughs> yeah. Kyler switch it to the boy. Rugak. Yeah, he's pandering to us. The Taros fans everywhere. This is, this is just me, man. You know, you know that. You know I love Taros. Oh, okay. Oh, Wait, don't, oh. But if you're gonna pander, you gotta win. Like, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> like, do it like that. Miss the nair, dude. Goddess's scythe is starting to look real good, and Kyler's gonna have to put this one away before it comes too much more online. Down like ground pound, optimal damage, but didn't hit the recovery. Oh, he ain't got. Oh, he okay. He did get his resources back. I thought he didn't make it. Yo, oh, bam! Oh, stop going oh, out there and playing with this man. He's not kidding right now. Kyler on the side of the stage is looking ridiculous. He's he is almost on uh, experience levels on the side of the stage at the moment. He's looking so good, and he, he does a really good job using that weapon toss to force out options. Then he goes in unarmed. Oh. Nice down air, but he wants more damage. My goodness, what's the play? He's okay, land. I like it. Nice movement. Go into the side there. Wow, you, uh -oh. you're gambling. Scrambling and gambling. Oh, oh no. You tried no. to do what it to are you doing? You tried. Well, you know, sometimes you just, you know, you're down 2-0 and you, you <laughs> say, here's a stock on a silver player. How about that one, Kyler? You want a freebie? I got gotcha. you. Okay, still cleans it up. No three stock for Kyler Alice, and here we go into the second stock from Kyler. Here's that hammer that was working so well on the boat bar, working well on the Terrace as well. Definitely looking good. Oh my gosh, short hop stomps here. This dude is on. Oh, hey, are oh. you serious? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we wanted the clip. Oh my God. But he just went a little too low there. Didn't hit that final move. And now final stocks here. If Goddess gets that turnaround, Kyler's gonna have egg on his face. You ain't lying. Okay, lands in there. I mean, not in there. Neutral light. And what is going to be the what is the the closeout of choice for Kyler? Down and it sing. will be the down okay. sing. Oh, you love the sounds, right? The sounds, the sweet sounds of Taros. So I can fall asleep to that. Damn. It feels so satisfying. That down <laughs> six so good. But Kyler Alice looking solid right now. Three O's his way into the semifinals. Guaranteed top four finish. Kyler, don't ever say. I never did nothing for you, man. I, I rooted for you. <laughs> I, I'm here for you, my boy. And you picked my character, Kyler. I, I might buy you lunch at BCX, bro. Like, Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like that, Clip it. That's much got it. That's a promise. I might, I'm, he I'm might have said might, much, but boy. if you bring the Twitch clip, like, what are you going to do? I mean, to be for real, if he actually asks, he played Taros. Like, that's, <laughs> that's everything to me. If he pulls up at BCX and he's like, hey, yo, I'm kind of hungry. I'll be like, Uber East, bro. I got you. You, you, what about Kaina, who also played Taros at Summer Royale? 
you got to play Terrace when I'm casting. Oh, okay. If you're That's not right. playing yeah. Terrace when okay. I'm casting, okay. I don't care. It's like if you didn't see it, it's not real. Exactly. Yeah. If okay, a tree falls in the forest and no one's around to see it, did it happen? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You know I what I'm saying? What's your What's your tarot's drip while we get ready for the next match? My tarot's drip. I either play. See, okay. When I call that kid. <laughs> you say girl gotcha, but when I first started playing and I didn't, I couldn't pronounce that. I didn't uh -huh. know what it said. I call him Baba Ganoush. Okay. So I either play Baba Ganoush or I play the uh, Mech Taros. Oh, ooh, I like Mech Taros. Mech Taros is fire. Yeah. Mech Taros is fire. Or the one with the skull head. I like uh, that one too. Yeah. Yeah, he's got, he's got some good skins. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Some good skins. All my Taros people out there, stand up. Y'all know what it is. Already standing. Heck yeah. Okay, looks like we are going to go to a break. The Australian uh, Autumn Championship will continue. We've got some more matches coming at y'all in just a little bit. When we come back, we'll be bringing you more of the Autumn Championship for Australia. So stick around.
how'd you enjoy that break? Did you enjoy those ads? You could actually get rid of them if you subscribe. Just saying, you don't have to sit there, watch those ads. Instead, you can sit there and l look at the upcoming matches. Ooh, crazy. That boy spin. <laughs> that boy spin. If y'all don't open them wallets up, come on now. You know, you don't, you don't so, even need to do it. Use, use your primes. Use your primes, yes. You don't even have to spin the bread. You know what I'm saying? We're talking about bread. And during the break, did you get you a snack? I'm doing a terrible segue because I got to ask. <laughs> so, snack wise, you know, we were talking about terrible earlier, okay. right? Yeah. Goldfish. <laughs> it's a snack that smiles back. <laughs> a snack that smiles back. Goldfish. Okay. Anyway. Is, is terrible a snack to you? No, that... <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> no. That's not what I was saying. All right, what was the we were okay, talking what's the about terrible earlier, right? Uh huh. So, now, when we were watching that Welcome Bar Hollow video and he's mm. sitting there eating the grass, yeah. I had the stupidest thought, and I thought, is that grass seasoned? Because Thatch reaches over, <laughs> and he grabs some, he takes a bite, and he looks at it, and he's like, oh, no, that's pretty good. And he takes another bite. Is the grass seasoned? Terrell, so you, you know what I'm saying? Is Terrell one of my people? <laughs> <laughs> what, like, what seasoning would make that okay to you? You know, I mean. Because, like, it's obviously, like. I like kale. So, okay. I mean, what's wrong with some Terrell's grass? That's, that doesn't answer my question at all. What seasoning would be good with that? <laughs> Kale's not a seasoning. You put, I mean, what I'm saying, I'm saying like you season up some kale is good. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. Again, like, I'm not disagreeing look, on that. Look, look, I just look, say look, what seasoning. Look, bro, look, 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 look. You he can say ranch. Of, you can say so paprika. Look, look. <laughs> so he gets some lemongrass, right? Okay. And he put some Lowry's on there. You okay. Good. Okay. Well, either way, we're getting into it. <laughs> Kyler, Alex, and Dummy. Tale as old as time. We've seen these people play in the Australian region so many times, but. Who's going to make it into the top three? Only one of them can podium. Is it going to be the Bodvar or is it going to be the Bryn? Uh, well, we're going to see what's going on in this bad boy. You know, Bryn, tail as old as time, like you were saying a second ago. That character has just been good for so long. Bodvar seems, you know, I won't say I've been seeing the character a lot, but I'm glad to see the character again. People are believing in the hammer a little bit more, and the sword is still just doing its thing. Kyler looking nice again, hammer in hand, but he decides to doesn't want the matchup this time. So he's gonna go over to the sword. We saw him stay on hammer the whole last set, and now he's slicing and dicing. Down air good. Weapon toss Ooh, was okay. even better, but the dodge was clean from Dummy to get back on stage. Yeah, Dummy committed very early to that rotation under the map and managed to get past that weapon, but stomp side air and Kyler Alice gonna clean up the stock. Next weapon for Dummy should be an axe. What's Kyler Alice want against it? The sword. Yeah, he's, okay, so interesting. Oh, he's, he's opting for sword in this matchup. I mean, is that to combat? Which one do you think is to combat, the spear or the axe? I think sword versus spear is not the worst matchup, but Kyler Alice needs to find a hit on the dummy. Can't find it, can't get the chase dodge up. Yeah, that was a nice play from dummy to go over there. Like, yeah, I know you're trying to get that touch. And if you try, if you try to go back up, son, uh, I mean, he would have got the touch. So nice play, nice movement. Ooh, good chase dodge up there. Ooh, nice delay on the recovery, oh, dummy. He tried to time done. that there. What are you doing? Bro, go get a weapon. <laughs> Kyler is just feeling himself. Yeah, I mean, that is that is such a confident play from Kyler Alice, and now it's making Dummy like he's got to think. He's like, you know what? He's not going to just immediately run away and go for the weapon spot. He's willing to play that unarmed into a weapon, and he gets away with it. He gets a lot of damage there. Now Dummy's starting to get into the red. Yeah, he's got Dummy in the red. Dummy being really patient with the strikes. Unlike Kyler, Kyler swinging away, tries the gravity cancel, no good, but neutral is going to land. <gasps> Sayer would have been it, but he goes for the down air, and now we're back in Punish. neutral. Whoa, going for the gusto. Oh. Dummy just set themselves up for punishment from Kyler Alice. Taking notes, man. I have not seen that specific punish against the Bryn Spear. Usually you come in vertically like that, but he, nice, he got the good vertical and that gravity cancel for that height and that range, but now it's hammer into the spear. Yeah, that was a really good punish. You are correct. I, I would have did something. Hey, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kyler, yo, yo, Kyler, yo. relax. Dun oh, my God, Kyler. All off stage, all hammer. Kyler takes game number one. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, Kyler. Y you know what? I'm buying man's dinner, too, if he goes to <laughs> if he If he keeps playing like this and he jumps onto the tarot again, like, come on, fam. What are we doing? Asuri! I like it. Okay. I like that switch. Yeah, that's and, and Dummy's Asuri is mad yeah. nice. So, like, that's a really good switch. 
I, I like the attempt at the Brin. It seems like Australia's liking the spear right now. I think a lot of people overall are really liking the spear. But Dummy's like, you know what? I got to go back to what I am the most familiar with going in with Yasuri. All right. So since I started playing this game, I always thought that the spear was absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. So but, so where, what was the what patch happened that made all the competitive players join the join the ranks? I don't, I don't understand whenever it just became the, or did South America just come through and show them that it was the one? <laughs> I think it's more so that like the other like popular weapons that were really still in the spotlight have since kind of waned in popularity. And so it's, people are like, oh yeah, there's this spear thing that's actually pretty good too. Okay, that does make sense. That does, Ooh, oh good my job goodness. Good to the outside there, but Kyler Alice, oh, he needed that hit, but can't get up. Dummy with those ground pounds, relentless to get the first KO. Yeah, and, it, you know, he couldn't even go wide right there with that recovery because, you know, the dare, it, you know, it could it could have caught him. So either way, <laughs> back turn, neutralize from each side here. All right, here we go. We got hammer in hand. Going to try to get this stock off before eating too much damage, but easier said than done when Dummy has the Katars in hand. Fortunate the weapon oh, toss didn't hit. Unarmed side air, not quite enough. There it is. Kyler Alice cleans it up. Nice cleanup. Nice cleanup. So he did a good job. He only, he only ate like two, three hits. Not not bad in the slightest. Trying to deal with this unarmed dummy. Dummy fighting back, doing a good job. Gets the sword, and now we're in nooch. Ready to scrap. Okay, good two-piece coming out from Kyler Alice. Dummy was doing a really good job of kind of ebbing and flowing against Kyler and getting those out spacings, but now Kyler's starting to get in on the dummy a little bit more. Nice GC down light. Oh, I like that. Nice movement, they made Dummy uh, stray away and slid up there with a nice air. Now trying to challenge on the side of the stage. He needed something. <sighs> I feel like the edge guard's gonna be good here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. Good weapon toss, nice stuff from Dummy. Taking the lead for the first time in the set. Yeah, he's dummy, dummy, oh my. <laughs> just immediately, just dunk him down. <laughs> you, you're going for the weapon pickup. Kyler Alice tanks that damage though, cause might be able to finish off the stock at Dummy. Oh, that was recovery. Punish? No punish. No punish at all. No Tries punish. the bear, the sair. Okay, hold up, hold up. A little too low for the grab to cancel down light. Ooh, wow. wow. Movement. The dash off, turn around, side air, another side air. Keeping dummy from the wall, but goes for the GCN sig to safely get back up. But Kyler cleans it up again, but he's still playing from behind. Yeah, barely, barely. But we've been seeing the start of fresh stocks from Dummy. They just look so good. Was that a pun? Because he's both on? <laughs> Barely. I, I would love to take credit for that, but no. I did not do that on purpose. Well, Kyler doing a good job bringing that back. Oh, okay. Dummy. Dude, Dummy's edge guards have just been picking apart Kyler. Yeah, Kyler's been the one uh, oh, that's been having the great edge guards, but right now, Dummy with the Sasuri just looking so clean. Oh, this is... Oh! Okay, gosh away. Oh, man, Dummy's getting so much damage, and yeah, now that Kyler's in the red, sword side air, sword recovery, and Dummy gonna put himself on the board, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that was a very, very strong game from Dummy, but to say that that was such a strong game and it was still that close, says something for how good Kyler's playing, you know what I'm saying? So going in this next one, even after seeing that performance, I don't know. I, I still feel like if I had, if I was a betting man, I would still lean the favor of Kyler Ellis, but I don't know. He's going to – I don't know if he needs to play the sword a little bit more trying to deal with sword versus sword because his hammer's kind of just getting picked apart by, by the guitars and the sword. He's just not able to get in the spacings he wants. Dummy's just hovering right inside of his hitbox and just making it hard for him to make plays. Honestly, I want this, this hard, it's hard to say, but I want Kyler to slow down a little bit. Because it's you been a couple so? times where he's gone a little over aggressive and Dummy just kind of dash back, turn around, sidelight, and Kyler Alice ends up kind of opening himself up on these approaches. Like you can see, Dummy's he's given him a lot of breathing room and Kyler Alice should just kind of take it sometimes. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes sometimes he's throwing moves out whenever Dummy's not making any play and he's just overextended. He's yeah. getting outspaced by his own movement. He's he's outspacing himself. Yeah. Dummy's just kind of just chilling. So I see what you're saying. He's looking for up. Dummy to move into his attacks. Yeah, but so far doing really good. Oh, oh, why did he go for a side light there? That was a jump stare for sure. That one will hit though. Okay. 
And opting for the hand. No, he wanted the sword. Gets it. I thought he wasn't going to be able to pick it up, but he, he gets it. The duff is good. Dummy going to go out on the side of the stage. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. He went and turned that around. You saw that side air towards the outside wall. Mm -hmm. Dummy, though, with the Katars in hand. He's going to need a read if he wants to get the KO with Katars instead. He's waiting for the sword sponsoring over downlight recovery. Trying to find it. Just a raw recovery. The downlight would have been just enough to make it. Get, oh. yep. It would have made it work, and it gets the job done the next time around. And here we go. Katars in hand. I like this. This is the damage rack up weapon. Out playing Nooch. Just a little too light on the damage, yeah. right? Jump too high with that uh, that Sair. Not going to be able to get the true combo. Ooh, I like that play for Gala. Yeah. I like that play. Could have been a big play there. Dummy comes in. Stomp. Side air. Dummy had enough damage there for the jump side air this time. Nice recovery. He's going to the sword a little early here against Dummy. Okay. Ooh, Ooh. I like that weapon toss. Dummy yeah. wanted to get aggressive, and Kyler shut it down immediately. That was nice. That was nice. He pulled a new trick out of the bag, right? He's got to mix it up a little bit. Dummy's just understanding the aggression. He's got to throw new little things out there if he wants to keep playing like this. Oh, There's good. Oh, Kyler! No, Kyler. Once again. Oh, Dummy wiping the sweat off the brow. <laughs> oh, wait. What's response taunt? Response taunt? No, Kyler. He's like, I'm too humble for that. Everybody needs to know I have no ego here. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely too nice to be taught. Oh, oh, Yo, oh, dummy. oh. Yike of Runes, dude. Oh, okay. Down six. Right. Edge guard trying to make something happen. I like there. it. Oh, boom. Damn. Oh, yeah. He said, you know what? My sword's nice too, Dummy. What's going on here? Over to the hammer. I don't know if Dummy wants to keep this or if Dummy, Dummy's just waiting around trying to see if they can get a, uh, a Qatar. Yeah, they want yeah. the Qatars. They want Definitely the wants the Qatars. There's a pickup. Ooh, outside. Oh, oh stop. Side air. Kyler. Alice. Gonna take game number three. Yeah, unfortunate. You know, getting stuck on the weapon that you're not favoring in the closeout of the, that game, you know, definitely leading the favor of Kyler Alice. Kyler throwing his second stock away, man, and still able to close that out. That's just, his high pressure is working, man. I get what you're saying. He needs to slow it down at moments. No, not completely change the, uh, yeah, yeah. the play style, but I just think slow it's it down just at like, moments. Like, add a little bit to the mix instead yeah. of just like constant aggression. But you know what? What he's doing, it's working. It made Dummy disappear from existence. So, Kyler Alice currently up 2-1. Is he going to go to the Gok for game number four? No. Does Dummy's not. Oh, making can... the swap to Ragnar. Okay. I ain't mad at it. Okay. I ain't mad at it. Bringing an axe to the table. I I don't know how to feel. Okay, because because the reason why Dummy's Asuri works is you build up damage with Kutars, go to the sword for the KO. Three, two, if he tries to do the one, same thing four. with the Ragnar, Ragnar's Axe does not have that easy KO downlight recovery tool. You're going to be looking for a side air. Yeah, true. But this is what this is where my brain's going with it. The Sig Pack did nothing with the Sig. Fair. There was, there was no Sigs coming out. It was just raw Qatar gameplay. Oh! And I think that, well, you know, if you get to play the oh, game, Ragnar's Ragnar Sig Pack's better in my eyes. Yeah. With, well, Qatar-wise. Right now, Kyle House is like, yo, just, I don't care who you play. I'm just going to keep hitting you, man. Just beating Dummy on the outside and already putting damage out onto the second stock. Oh, the chase Jesus. dodge Nair? Kyler Alice. Oh my gosh, what a way to Recovery. start this. That's a burn dodge. That's a dare. Down oh like ground pound, Kyler Alice. Is he back? Oh, he's looking like it. This is crazy. Kyler saucing. No remorse. Oh, went for the down stick. Okay. You know what? I like it. That's fine. Oh, Dami didn't get the height for the uh, the ground pound. Still unarmed. Kyler Alice wants to three stock dummy here. Tries to go for Yo. the ground pound. What are you doing? Stop coming out to Kyler's territory. The side of the stage is his domain. Oh, oh, oh wrong. Thought he was going to panic jump. Oh, um, you know what? It, it, it could have been either. Yeah. Down sick, I think, would have hit for sure. But Kyler Alice. Yo. Oh, my gosh. Three stock. Damn. Yo. Okay. More hit. Oh, a little, a little too, too low. A little too low. Oh. We tried oh. to wait for the dodge to neutralize. Okay. Dummy does Ooh. not want to get three stock weapon toss. Bow. Oh, my. Kyler Alice with no regard for human life. Well, dragon life in this one because <laughs> Dummy is done for. Kyler Alice going to three stock to 3 0. Dummy. 
guaranteeing a top three finish and making me eat my words about him uh, falling and getting fourth place. Man. Is he back? Yo, he's looking like he's back. Golly, this dude is just. I'm glad he got his unarmed string. Like, he's been he's been going for this one. Here we go. Weapon toss. Boom. Jump. Where's the downer? Oh, I like that, too. He, he faked going to touch the stage, man. That was, oh. It, it just looks so much better in slow motion. He faked <laughs> going for the stage, came back over there with the down air, and just, oh, yeah. What do you think you're doing? Smat that app. I got a little something for you. It's called side air with the hammer. Dude, not enough people oh. do that. Not enough people just side air with the hammer into the wall. Because, like, hammer play is like, I, I get it. We're all trying to go for recovery ground pound. We all are. We, we can admit that. But you know yeah. what? Add a side air. Mix it up a little bit again. You just, you know, add some seasoning. Some like lemongrass. And some lemongrass with some <laughs> Lowry's. You know what's up, man. Come what's on. What's a now. Lowry? Is that a story? Wait, you don't. Duke, I'm asking you this. I think I follow Duke. someone with the last name Lowry on Twitter. Duke, I'm going to ask you this one time. <laughs> Are you being serious right now? <laughs> You're not being serious, Duke. What's <laughs> a paparica? <laughs> somebody, somebody tag Duke right now on Twitter. <laughs> in the Lowry seasoning. Tag him with just a picture. The white background is just Lowry seasoning. Okay. If you're at the store right now in, in your region, if it's just, <laughs> actually, you know what? I don't know if you guys even have it over here. <laughs> like, I don't know if it's sold anywhere but the U.S., but it might be. It might be. Australians, so, y'all got y'all got Lowry? Me. I don't know. But we got Kyler Alice. Come on, man. Still on deck. He's trying to make that lower bracket run, but now he's going up into Herm, the person who knocked him to the elimination side of things. It was a tough fight, went to game five, but Herm was the one ultimately who was victorious when they ran up against each other. Oh, man. So this is going to be interesting. So maybe maybe that is what put the fire under Kyler? Maybe. Or the aggression spelled his demise in that match. Who knows? We will find out here in a moment, right? But I don't know how that one played out. Because Herm is kind of chill with the gameplay. So if he's overextending and pressing the way that he was, Herm has a very nice punish game from what I just witnessed. So we're going to see. We're going to see if, if Herm can weather the storm and deal with the pressure he's putting on in the, in the offstage play. Kyler is looking ridiculous. He's looking second to none on the side of the stage. Don't go out there. That is Kyler's crib. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, I'm curious if Kyler's going to be able to do the things that we saw from Raigundas with those, like, he was doing a lot of spear dares on the offstage, right? And obviously, mm -hmm. Kyler Alice coming in here with the, the Bodvar doesn't have a spear. Sword down air is kind of similar, but it doesn't have that range. It doesn't have that angle. So I'm curious how he's going to play as maybe he won't as we're getting into it, because that's a Jala being picked for game number one. Oh, is that what we're seeing? I believe that Kyler's like the only person in Australia who plays Jala, so I think that's him on the uh, on the Jala. Yeah, and that's a Kaya. So, okay. what's Hold the map? On, man? That's another oh, missed man. opportunity for a crossover. What's going on here, man? You know what? It's the Australian bucks. Those dollar redos do not go as far. <laughs> I don't. I don't know the conversion rate for Australian dollars to to mammoth coins, but I guess it's it's a struggle out there. I'm sorry. Oh, my again, gosh. the taxes. Y'all should throw some tea in some water or something. I don't know. You've got me interested. <laughs> I want to know how much it costs for them. You know, yeah, I don't know. You've got me super <laughs> no interested. Like, I'm not an economist. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not. I'm definitely not. All right, here we go. Game number one, elimination oh. side finals. Winner of this goes into grand finals. Loser is going to be done for the day with a third place finish. And neither one of them want that. You know, it's still a good placement. You're going to get some some cheddar cheese, some some dollary dues, as you've been saying. <laughs> but, you know, you want the prestige. You want the first place, and you want to crack at uh, Rygundas in that grand final. Kyler looking nice with the axe in hand. I mean, it's never surprising when I see somebody switch off a hammer and then start cooking with the axe. It's kind of similar, you know what I mean? Yeah, two heavy-hitting weapons. Both can chunk. I like the way that Kyler's playing his axe. He's doing some very non-committal plays. Like, he'll just do a clean side light neutral air. But Ensig from Herm will get the first stop. Golly. That was such nice placement on that gravity cancel. Ooh, Kyler. He picks the low defense legend, and he is not getting to play the game. He is feeling that low defense. Missed the down light there. Oh, man. Ooh. Herm is catching Kyler. Oh, so... I feel like I guess I guess Ryan Gundis was making Herm just play chill because he was so clean with his movement because 
This is way more aggression than we saw in that previous set with Herm. Yeah, Herm looking really solid here. Back to the axe for Kyler. There's the burn dodge, but Kyler not quite in position for the second jump there. Punish. Ooh, yep. that was a scary, scary punish. Yikes. He missed that, then he would have been out on the side of the stage Ooh. with the swiftness. Nice combination. Over to the sword. Oh, the spot dodges from Herm using all those iframes to get through. Kyler can't hit the down light. He tried it. He tried Ooh. it. Oh. Active frames, baby. Yeah, once again, he got taken to the dance hall. He tried to, he tried to go for the punish once again, right, on that. Uh, and, and that's scary. Like, I mean, that was less scary than the first one, but he, he just wasn't clean enough to catch the, the break dance. Yeah, he was trying to get past it, but Herm had just enough there. But deep red and a recovery from Kyler will clean up the stock. This is anyone's game for game number one. Stick with the axe. To see Kyler bring this one back, because it was looking pretty bad. That was a nice start for Herm and Kyler. Ooh, well, you know what? Ooh. Might be a nice end for Herm, too. Oh, he's just whiffing, man. He's got to be able to be more accurate with these hits. Those are clean. That's good. Chunking away. Okay, mix up on the dodge coming out from Herm. Oh, oh dodge the same it. way, and Herm's going to catch him with a double down light recovery. Herm taking game number one. Herm gets one game closer to getting back up there with Ry Gundis in the grand finals. But we're going to see what Kyler has to say about that. From You know, I'm over here looking at the – you guys can't see it, but I'm, I'm seeing it. It looks like he's going back with the Jala. Yeah. Good clean game. Man, see, that was unfortunate. I, yeah. he, he tried to punch it like he did the down sig with the spear, and he just was a little too late letting out that down air, and he got clipped. And this read, man. Woo. So you showed me once, you showed me twice. I'm not going to let you keep that life if you keep dodging that same spot. He's got to be careful about the way he's dodging against Herm because Herm is honed in on it. Here we go, game number two, but Herm clutched that one out in the end. Let's see if we can do it again. All right. We got the sword in hand. It's definitely been the axe show from Kyler, but his Ooh. sword is, okay. is clean. He's doing a good job. Oh, yeah. He tried that weapon. He tried the same combination he did from the last Ooh. game. Y'all. That side air, that was almost like the, the scorpion kunai. Like, get over here. <laughs> what? Yo! How did that hit? The uh, hitbox. Show me the replay. Hitbox. That hitbox was <laughs> wild. Recovery comes out. Another one from Kyler. Looks like he wants to try to finish off with the axe. Good avoidance oh, yeah. this time, but Herm's still alive. No that way. Sneaky defense. Okay. I'm about to say, there's no way. <laughs> Dude, I think if he didn't do the weapon toss and instead did like gravity cancel side sig, there was a world where he touched. Huh. That is interesting. You are probably correct. Probably correct. But man, getting back Yo. at it again with the white van. Yo! This axe play is just phenomenal. He is he is tearing that. Punish? Oh, oh he just okay. wants the weapon. Yeah, yeah. That was a clean attempt, though. I like it. Yeah, without a weapon, it's kind of hard to punish that. Yeah. I get it. Now he's got a weapon. Oh, oh yes! Okay, Kyler. He is mind gaming Herm right there. I love that forward movement to bait. Herm throws out the neutral light, and Kyler asks, like, gotcha. It's like the <laughs> That was such good patience. Oh, I love it. Because I definitely got tick, tick, ticked up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. Dude, Kyler Ellis. The spot dodge. Oh. oh wait. Oh, what? Kyler. He went for it. He, You know what? You're playing in the in the off screen. You don't know who's above what. I get it. Nah, these guys are too high level, man. He had to have known he wasn't the one on the upper end. He had to know. Yeah. Either way, just one stock lost for Kyler. Meanwhile, Herm on his final. Wake up, just immediate sideline. Herm's looking good, but it just seems like oh, after all these touches, he's not doing any damage. Dude, right now, Herm's like, what are, what are these recovery frames? Oh, still gets back, though. Ooh, goes up high there. Oh. Okay, went for a big play there. Kyler wasn't in position for the ground pound, went for the recovery. Oh. <laughs> oh! Oh! Kyler! Okay. Hold on! Don't let it happen. Herm, still a hope and a prayer here in game number two, but Kyler with the recovery. Closes it out 1-1. Yep. He got in there. That was that was a good game. He was tearing stuff up with the sword to start that one off, and then, okay, we got the dodge right there, right? What is this replay? I can't remember this one. Is this the down sing? Oh, it is! Yeah! Bro. <laughs> No, I, whenever I saw that hitboxes, it just made me feel uh, feel like that uh, the the aliens guy meme. Which one? The, when he's sitting there, he's like, it's, it's supposed to be. Oh, aliens. in the coffin. 
No. Oh, no. that one. Aliens. Okay. Yeah. I'm right. sorry. But in the middle, you've just put I'm, hit boxes. I'm a Zoomer <laughs> 2023 <laughs> memer, and I'm thinking about the, the aliens that the Mexican government showed. Oh, you talking <laughs> about the, the crutch bar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just sitting in that like, weird little coffin thing, and that's like that was my soul when Kyler hit that down sick. But here we go. Game number three. Herm versus Kyler. Kyler's still sticking with the Jala. Yeah, him, I mean, this is interesting to see him do work with Taros and Bodvar and then just understand. I guess he understands that he's played this matchup already against this player, and he knew he needed to bring something new to the table. Beautiful movement to work his way around the pressure from Herm. Downsick. Downsick from both players. Herm is really fishing with that thing, and it's not been working. Kyler been moving and grooving around it in neutral light. Oh, that's Punish! Oh, oh. Man, Herm is fishing so hard for these SIGs, and it is, is not working. Kyler Alice with the sword, starting to add up damage onto the second stock. Nice recovery is coming out from Kyler. He's just he's just hitting Herm, and Herm cannot get past it. Oh my so gosh. much unanswered damage coming out from Kyler. Good dodge oh. up. Went for the dare there. I like that he didn't overcommit either, right? He lands the dare and just was like, he did not come back down to re-challenge. Tried the ground pound. I mean, wait, he tried to break dance and still gets a punish after whiffing it. You are correct. Herman's definitely got to be like, what are these recovery frames? Because Kyler's whiffing stuff Yo. and he's just able to keep swinging. Dude, I remember when Jalu was released, all us Axe players were like, finally, more than four decks. But, oh my god, Kyler is getting away with so much. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> attack after attack after attack. Yeah. He just, it's like... I don't understand. Is it about the way that he's pressuring? Is it about how he's moving? I don't know. Like, because he's not getting punished for so many things constantly. No punish on that either, right? It's like constantly he's getting away with stuff. Is, is D all the above? Kyler Alice, he just he's that guy right now. He's looking so solid. Herm, what is the response? Because Herm's just he's getting picked apart. Mm. I am getting a touch okay. after I mean a clean 25 to 30 seconds of not getting a hit. Herm trying to make something happen with this bow. Okay. Ground pound after ground pound, they just have not worked. I understand that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, but. Okay, good movement. Oh, oh my gosh. He tried to go for the chase dodge Nair, and Kyler just immediate gravity cancel. Son. Unarmed haymaker. Dude, Kyler is feeling himself. Currently up 2-1. Herm has got to find something different, because this is looking brutal right now. Oh my lord. 317 with the swords. That was the, the weapon of choice that game. 102 unarmed and 150 with that. Dude, I can't believe he closed it with that duff. I, I, I just really can't. The thing I'm looking at, though, is 267 damage was taken by Kyler. That means about 267 was put out from Herm because there's no other ways to get damage out. Right, and right, right. so Herm was struggling to find damage in that one. And so that's why Herm's making the swap. Over to Orion. Wants to keep the spear, but maybe Two, wasn't feeling the bow. One. <sighs> it makes perfect sense to me. I understand. Get that switch off and try to make something shake. But I don't know. I feel like, yeah, yeah. This is the weapon that's gonna have to trip Kylo up because he was answering the bow and the, uh, and the spear very easy. He just did side light down air. <laughs> He's a different breed, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> I get Australia's all top. Okay. Two. Okay. Nice ground pound. Herm turning that one around. He's not going out without a fight. We still got an opportunity here. I like it. I like it. Herm with the Orion looking nice. Ground pound sealed the deal. Kyler chipping away, trying to find this stock. OK, I like that. Hold on. It's getting dangerous oh. out there. Yes, sir. Re flop. Good. Kyler guard. getting the job done on the right side of the stage. Opt to keep the sword. Okay. Once the sword coming in to Herm. Herm, sticking with the lance. Like you said, this is going to be the weapon that we're, we're looking at for Herm to change things up. So Herm's going to have to keep note of Kyler. Oh! Ooh, wait, again? Uh-huh. He touched. One more. Oh! Yep. Kyler gets passed, and Kyler goes for the turnaround, but Herm walking away with the damage. Okay. We are just dancing around. Herm. You can't commit too much. That's, that's it, right? Like, at this level, when you're whiffing with the lance, it's just so punishable. These guys are really going to make you pay. So you're seeing Herm be real patient about the strikes. Dodge is good for Kyler. Okay. I yeah. thought that second one, he might have got got. Down sick. I like it. 
Nope. Not as good as it used to be, though. Not quite the same force and good. Not quite enough for Kyler. Oh, just underneath it. Herm thought Kyler was going to jump, but Kyler stayed low. Down light side air, but Herm, again, still has a chance here. This is basically even. Yeah, this is definitely very, very close. If Herm can just get this stock, tried to go for another down sig, nothing doing. Bink, bink. Oh, yeah. That's so pretty. I love that. That's one of the best combinations in the game for me. It looks so cool. Spear down, down air into side air. Yeah. So solid. All right. Herm, back on the lance. Taking some damage here. Starting to bait some actions from Kyler, but not getting any punishes off of it. Oh, yeah. Kyler goes uh -oh. for the gust. Oh, talk about going for the That's gusto. Hot. Herm wanted to get that one over with quick. Been pretty accurate with the ground pounds. That one not going to work Whoa. out. Not a lot of damage on the table here. Kyler just needs a couple more touches. Maybe one if he lands a hefty hit, but maybe one of his signatures. Uh-uh-uh. That's not, not it. Right? So he's going to need one. Nope, nope, nope. Good dodge. Herm gets past. Kyler staying on the corner. He's not walking away just yet. Over to the axe now. Mm. Neutral light. Not quite enough. Unarmed. Oh, oh my gosh! Did he do it? He did! Herm with the sneak! Gravity cancel and sig to turn that around. Kylie's aggression ends up paying the price, and Herm has taken this to game five. It feels good to know I'm not the only one. Because, <laughs> you know, you go to challenge Orion, and you, and you never think this is going to happen, but why wouldn't it? You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't you do that? It, and that, that move, it just feels invincible. It's so good, especially because Kyler went in unarmed, tried to get that recovery from underneath, and Herm just completely beating out Kyler Alice there. Kyler Alice, I, I, I'm, I feel like he's got to be feeling confident, but also a little embarrassed because he was up so big, like an axe neutralite would have finished that one. Yeah. But instead, he's, he got a little greedy there, and Herm put that one away. But it's game five. Kyler Alice is going to be careful about that finisher this time. He's got to be. Or, you know, maybe just keep the high pressure up. The high pressure definitely was the reason why he lost that game in general. Like, it's not only just that last moment. All the ground pounds, all the, the terrible moments he was in on the side of the stage. Herm understands that he's trying to go out there and make something happen. And Herm is trying to turn it around on him, and it worked out in that game, right? We got the spear. <laughs> you see? Okay, so he faded back on that one. He didn't want, he didn't want no part of that. Bink, bink. I'll see you later. Playing it a little bit safer with these edge guards. You see him come back up and then go for that down like ground pound. Not able to deny that weapon pick up, but he still has the sword because he went for the vertical toss. Ooh, Herm. Oh, Round. Ooh, Kyler. Go for the extra credit. Don't, don't get robbed on the side of the stage again. Don't let it happen. Okay. What a mess up. up. Oh, down light. Kyler's deep red. Oh, but yeah, he's got the dodge. Side light, side air, not true for the Lance player. Oh, that should be it. There it is. Okay, and Herm. Tying this one up. A little bit of damage on there, right? Not too bad. Yeah, definitely and man, still doable. Yeah, we're really seeing it. It's, it is the Lance show for Herm. And I, and I think that Herm's spear is really, really good. Just opting to not even try it against Kyler. I think Herm recognizes that Kyler knows how to play against his specific spear, and that's why he's like, you know what, I got to lean a little bit more Lance. I have the spear as a backup, but Lance is definitely going to be the thing that helps him out the most because it's been getting those KOs. Mm -hmm. Oops, oh, still has a recovery. Looking with that weapon toss. Did he touch? Oh, oh! He can't touch! Kyler Alice denying the dare, hitting him just in time. Final stock here for Herm. It's, it's really making me think, like, what is it about the way that he's doing that weapon toss? He's doing that hop out, diagonal down weapon toss, and everyone's just eating it. No one's dodging through. No, don't let him. Yo, it's just, uh, I think a lot of people do uh, have that habit of immediately dodging when they get launched, so their dodge is gone by the time that weapon comes at them. Oh, you think so? Okay, okay. I'm not paying attention to that when they oh! get far out there. Nice turn around from Herm. Herm, Not like this. The final moments of the set. Not like this. Opting for the Lance. Kyler, Alice, Herm, everything on the line. Who's going to grand finals? Game number five, final stocks. Oh, it's like throwing out. Kyler, Alice starting to get caught here. 
And Sig whiffs. Oh, that Sair just barely catching Herm at the tail end of it. Yo, that's a lot of movement burn, but he still touches down. Double there. Okay, Sound light move, recovery. Bam. That's not it. That's not it. Okay. You got to keep that weapon. Yes, I understand, Kyler. Oh, oh and there we go. Do That'll do it. Kyler Alice with the gravity cancel to close that one out. GG's camaraderie. But I'll see you in grand finals. Nice run from Herm. Herm, unfortunately, we you know we get into this top four and we watch two quick L's. You know, it wasn't two quick L's. This one was a pretty hefty set. Yeah. They went this down was, to this the was wire, a right? scrap for sure. Yeah, scrap. I think one of the big things was like Kyler had to make that adjustment that he only had the advantage of because they played their winner bracket. Match. Yeah. I think if, if if they didn't play that, then Kyler was going to be coming in with that Bodvar and he was going to start like falling apart against Herm. And that's why he had that adjustment period. And that's the advantage. That boy talks. Double lip. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. I mean, it makes me wonder because did they report? Do you know? Do, do we know who Kyler used in the first set? Someone knows. I mean, somebody's got to know, Someone right? Knows. Kyler knows. See on my phone. Herm knows. On Friday, <laughs> Man, yeah, it's interesting because I wonder. I just don't know where he got the idea to just go straight oh. for the Chala. Yeah, yeah, he played okay. Taros. He, he tried. Played Taros he tried straight Rose. Match. Okay, so so something okay. in there told him, all right, my axe was doing good, but the hammer was getting fried. Yeah, right. Something told him that just is not the answer. So he went over with the character that has an axe, and he said, "Sword is old, reliable, and I'm doing mad damage. How can I fail?" I mean, that's I that's the advantage Kyler has coming in with that triangle of characters, right? He's got Axe Sword, he's got Sword Hammer, he's got Axe Hammer. So mm -hmm. whichever weapon is doing the worst at that moment, he can go to the mm -hmm. other characters. I like it. It's coverage, coverage. Smart stuff from a smart player. You know, you know, some people, whenever they become a competitive player or even just in general, casual players, they, they don't. They don't think about why they're pocketing a character. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's smart right there to have that coverage. But what that being said, we are going to take a short break, and we'll see you guys here in a moment for grand finals of the Australian Autumn Finals. を裏切られた仲間よ。誓うよ。死ぬまでこの世界を守ってみせる。失われた魂を見つけてやる。魂を貸してくれ。ガルダ。
One more set to go to crown the Australian champion. Will it be Rygunda? Will it be Kyler Alice? We'll find out in just a little bit. The big question is, what is Kyler going to be playing? Because Rygunda's a tour. That's been the play. But Kyler Alice, he's got a wheel of characters. Bova, Teros, Jala. What's it going to be? That's interesting. It makes me wonder. I, I don't know exactly what he should go for. I'm thinking about it in, like, I don't think bringing the hammer in to go against Rygundas' sword for sure. I don't, I, I don't think that that's going to be a good play. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just the way that Rygundas be moving and grooving, Kyler was out moving the other players when he had the hammer. All right? So, to see, I don't know if he's going to be able to do that against Rygundas. I, I don't know. So, I mean, I'm not going to give you a pick on who I think he's going to use. I just don't know if trying hammer against him is a good play. So, we'll, we'll see, though. We'll figure out what he's going to do. I agree. I think yep. Jala would be a really solid pick. The Jala was looking good in the matchup just before against Herm. I think run it back. That's what's warm. That's what's working. But obviously, Kyle Alice is the one to make the decision. Hopefully, he doesn't have stream open because then I'd play Lucian and then <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know about that, Chief. Play, play Red Raptor. Oh, fans. yeah. Yeah. Wait, that's what that is. Is that what that is? Yeah. That's, that's the Red Raptor logo. Oh, that's fire. You know what I thought that was? That Robin. was like Nightwing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fair. <laughs> that's awesome, though. It's more anime than that, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, that character is mad cool. That character is super cool. Yeah. So, in the competitive scene, okay. do you know of anybody that's been maining Red Raptor? Um, not really. I think, like, um, what's his face? Uh, I am blanking. Who is the Petra player from NA? Why are you doing this to me? You can't blank and then throw the Did blank they, over to me. Wait, it, they picked two maps. Well, whatever. They're going to get one of them. Kyler Ellis versus Ray Gundas. We'll see hey, how well this goes. goes. All right. They didn't, they didn't do normal snake striking. They did. They both picked a map and then just let it go to the middle, and Miami Dome was the pick. Well, here we go. Here we go. Grand finals. Kyle Alex versus Ragundas. He did have the stream open because he's going in with the Jala. Smart stuff, smart stuff. I think he feels the same sentiment as us, right? Yep. He knew that was not going to be the play, or, or he's just going in here with this because he was just so hot with it last game. He's like, you know what? I'm feeling the juices. The juices are flowing. Oh, my gosh. What a challenge with that stare from Ragundas. Yeah, if he was any closer, Kyler's ground pound would have beaten it out. But Kyler swinging in the wrong direction a little bit. Ground pound going to whiff Rygundas. Now he's in position for his pogos, but Kyler gets away from it. Man, these guys Ooh. are whiffing, but that side sig won't. Tried to go for the ground pound. Kyler is oh, overextending, and touch. that might be the end of it. Yes, sir, the pogo will work. The signature weapon of uh, Rygundas. He has been pogoing all night. He's very effective. You got to be worried if you are below Rygundas. But now Rygundas currently unarmed. Picks up a spear down the light side. He won't have that spear for very long. Yeah, nice cleanup. Very good for Kyler uh, Alice. Unfortunate for Rygundas. Doesn't get any uh, extra damage. And now going into a sword v. sword. Ooh, what was that ground pound? I'm not sure if he didn't have the uh, horizontal movement that he wanted so he could chase off ground pound. Or if that was supposed to be like a, a down sig that didn't work out. Yeah, I can't tell which one it was either. It, it could be either or. Either way it goes, didn't work out. But these two are still boxing sword versus sword. No weapon for Rygundas now. This could be trouble. Kyler slicing the dice and recovery is good for Rygundas. And he gets a spear. Ooh. But the neutral signature from Kyler Alice to get what the job call. done on the second stock. Ow, dude. He was just like, you're going to jump right now. Immediate end say gives him the power of He Man and Kyler Alice currently up two stocks to one. I see you with the old school bars. We're old, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me the power of He Man. Now, that's definitely what that was. Ooh, tried that little sword Ooh. setup. No good, but the Enough. second attempt working out neutral like grab the cancel. I like it. Yeah. That's a solid option. You got that active frames, locks you in position. Rygundas makes it even stocks here for the final ones as he's got that winner's bracket advantage. The spear bounces him up for it. Mm. Man is chopping Kyler up. Tries to go for the read. No good. Kyler goes over and gets the sword. And the Sayer, dude, he is so pinpoint with those Sayers. It's ridiculous. He's got that range advantage with that spear right now. Kyler Alice trying to get below him. 
He is deep red. He's got to be careful here. A down air Sarah, and that might do it. Not quite enough, but the weapon oh, yeah. toss, and Kyler Alice is done for. My gun just takes game number one. Right, Gundas looking to speed run this Grand Finals, takes the first one. And when you are the one on the lower side of the bracket, that is not what you want. You want that confidence boost. You know you got to win two sets. You want to win the first game and just set a tone and give yourself some cushion to get that first that first set, uh, set win so you can get that reset. But Rygon just takes that first one. A lot of spear damage. The sword was looking great, but we still got 321. On the spear, that means he's still in perfect form. He's playing just the same, just as good as he was after sitting and watching for that long. You know, he probably was sitting over there practicing and yeah. war staying warm, right? So it's not like he's coming in with cold fingers. But here we go. Kyler's going to have to do something. Going to have to try to take this one. Maybe it'll be a character swap. I'm not sure, but we're getting ready. Ooh, it is. Not who I would have thought, though. It's going to be a Nash for game number two. Kyler Alice going to bring out the original like man, Kyler Alice's Nash versus Rygundas. Is there the spear. lore uh, for Nash that, like, he don't lose in the for a Hall of Games or something like that? Or he, like, uh, before everybody else started getting there, he was the first one there and he yeah, was, he's, like, cooking up? He's, like, he's a caveman. Right, right, right. right. But I'm saying, like, in the Brawlhalla games, wasn't he, like, isn't he, like, one of the most uh, successful champions? Oh, I, I don't know about that. I don't, I'm <laughs> ba at Baronipitous, please help me out. <laughs> I had a day, I mean, like, last year, I had a day where I just went through and I was reading them all. Bro. Oh, my gosh. Talk Talking about, about reads. reads. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Yo, but a GC down, so it got him the touch, but it does not matter. Right. Gun does. Oh. Man, about to put this caveman back in the dirt. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Good dodge down. Oh yeah, when that spear gets to saucing. Okay, he overextended a little bit. Oh, okay, poke over, poke over. These guys are poking away. Uh uh. Oh, oh yes, sir. Okay. Read the dodge in. That was good. That was good. So that's a read only I can do. Mm hmm. Oh, nice. good down sick. That was good. Yeah. I love the, the end light to bait. It's like, okay, now you can come in, but it doesn't matter because the down sig covers the exact same spot and gets that KO. Kyle Alice definitely playing for this spear against Rygundas. He oh. needed to get that stock early, but he also needs to refrain from getting clipped the way he's doing right now. Already on red, he has not really got any touches on the second stock of Rygundas. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, bing, bing, bing. Pow. Wow. Oh, yeah. I'll see you later, my boy. And down to the final stock, Kyler Alice in game number two. He's having signs of life, but all the way alive is Rygundas. He is just on point at all moments. He's going to get another spear, and that is not what you wanted him to have. See down light in the air. That was clean, bro. Accurate. Okay, yeah. one for the answer. Mm -mm. Didn't hit the air there. Okay, different movement here coming out from Kyler Alice, so got away from that one. Oh, man, he is so far behind. Goes for the end sig again. Rygundas gets away. Yeah, both of them, we're looking two times in a row. They're trying the same option they tried after the side light with the spear. It has not worked out for either neutral light. Disarm Ooh. Oh. oh. Damn. Oh, man. Kyler. I don't know, Chief. Oh. And there it is. Once again, the gravity cancel neutral light. We'll get the job done. 2-0 on the winner's side of the bracket for Rygundas. One game away, dude. One game away from being the autumn champion of Australia. Dog, that was ridiculous. He, yeah. He that said, that initial that sequence stock. from Rygundas was so good. I also I love the finish for the the final stock because GC Endlight is like the perfect answer to an opponent who's in the air and decides to spot dodge. Because usually you're like trying to bait out their dare and you spot dodge hoping that they are burning their action so you get past. But no, Rygundas is like GC Endlight. Yeah, it's just so active, right? Yeah. It's a it's a pretty nice size hitbox. It's active, covers a lot of space. I mean, and you and you do it just covering the wall. Where are they gonna go? Where are no, you gonna go? They're going to the KO zone. <laughs> Kyler Alice going to the dark heart zone. I don't know where he went, but Ragunda's is still here. Kyler Alice coming in. Final option here. It's gonna be the Ragnar for game number three. 18 damage put out from the hammer. It was all about the spear, but it was not quite enough. <sighs> Yeah, that hammer. I mean, that's what Three, we said, dude. Two, the hammer is one, not the answer against Rygundas. I, I could smell it. I <laughs> knew that thing wasn't going to work against him. So, I mean, he's going to switch off. He doesn't even have his spear, which he was doing very well with. I feel like he might have should have went with a spear legend. Like a but his axe has been playing very well, too. We're, I guess we're going to see what his guitars are talking about. This is interesting in the sense that uh, Rygundas didn't, did go 3-2 against dummies. So maybe Kyle Alice trying to take a page out of dummies, but leaning into the guitars. 
A good read with that end sig there. Actually gets Raygun is off the corner with that down air, but he's running out of movement. Good chase or good dodge up. I like it. It's another. Nice oh. patience on the recovery from our goodness. That is definitely what saved that stock because Kyler was making plays. Sayer, uh, dude, I don't know why I'm loving how clean he is with these Sayers so much. Like, that, that's the highlight of the night to me. Dude, he's just, he's so on point being able to get those falling side airs. Nice side sig from Kyler Alice. Still not quite enough despite Look the up close. Walls. Like, dude, he's got a, he's got defensive Sayers. He's got he's got uh, chasing Sayers. He's got edge guarding Ooh. Sayers. They're all there. With a sword, though, he's got recoveries. Down light into the recovery. Okay, yeah, <laughs> he's sticking with the spear. I was like, uh, <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing? Weapon toss, but doesn't get his weapon back. Oh no. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You know what's smart? He didn't overextend. Still gets a little punished on Kyler trying to chase him. Just racking up a little bit of damage here. Kyler is just getting chipped at. Oh. oh, no. Kyler, nice dodge to the ground pound, and the Sayer will take the first stock. But dang, did he get put to orange pretty swiftly before he could close that one out. Yeah, he took a big chunk of damage. Now we're going to see what Kyler Alice's Katars can do. Currently has Raigundas unarmed. Doesn't get the dodge. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. I like that falling in there to punish him. Oh, man. Guitars. So scary, dude. Oh. Ground pound. One stock left. Rygundas could be the autumn champion. He is marching towards victory. You ain't lying, dude. This dude is playing so clean. It's like, it's always interesting when you're watching the tournament. Dog, throwing them hands. He was just piecing my man up. Every option Kyler went for just got beat out by Rygundas there. Every single option. Well, I was going to say, it's so interesting watching somebody have a phenomenal tournament uh, tournament run, and then they run into the guy that's looking like he's going to potentially win it. It's not over yet, obviously. Okay, nice, nice, right? So he gets it, he gets it close. Yeah. But to see how dominant he's looking against Kyler, who was so dominant before, it's just it shows you how well somebody's playing on a given day. Yeah, that's um the the, the Dragon Ball characters <laughs> fighting against like Android 17 and 18, and then Cell comes out and they're like, oh wait, what? Yeah, exactly. We already used our wishes. What do we do now? <laughs> Kyler looking nice right now though. He's getting hit after hit. That's one of the things that I haven't been seeing a lot from Kyler in this set is just landing Ooh, dodge combinations. He's getting like two touches here and there, and then the Ragunda show starts. But right now, he's got a very even game. Down light. There's a finish. Ooh, Ooh. the Sayers again from Ragundas. They're so good. Chasing Ragundas, high. Oh my gosh, he's got the sword. You already know There's what's on the table. Oh! Beep, beep, beep. I'll see you later. Who is the champ? Who's the, who's that? Rai Gun does three syllables to say victory. Rai Gun does is the champion for Australia for the autumn seasonal. He's going to be the, the final champion for the year for Australia. <sighs> I, I, I needed you to say that. That's yeah. why I had to ask you yeah. who's the champion. I know. Cause, cause you He's know, your guy. You know, that's, that's who I said was going to win yeah. this thing. And then... I'm, I'm kind of nice with it, right? Because I said he was going to win, and I also said that Kyler was going to turn up too, right? Yeah. You, know you, you might know this Australia stuff pretty good. No, I'm not. You, you might, you might know a little thing or two about some kangaroos. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh no! But great performance from everybody that played today, man. Like Kyler, I love it. You made, you made this, this whole run. You popped off, and I know everybody out there enjoyed it. That was great gameplay, but Rygundis is the man with the master plan. What a tournament run for him. We only got to see two of his matches, but in those matches, he showed us why he was the champion. People just couldn't mess with him. He was ridiculous. Now, let's okay. look at this chart. I, I've, been, I've been looking at this while we were talking. I, I think this is wrong, because I don't. I was like, when did this happen? And when did, when did that happen? <laughs> I think that's wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put production on blast like that. I just, I was stuck. In, I was stun locked thinking about, I was like, when when did his stock go tiny? But anyways, uh, Rygundas, like you said, the champion, gold medalist, finally on the board, because like we saw with the stats, didn't have a gold medal or a silver. Now he's got a gold. And then on the other side, Kyler Alice with a silver medal. Shouts to Herm, though, with the first ever top three for Herm. And uh, of course, that is a bronze medal on their side. That was awesome. Awesome. I love it. So everybody that we saw just now with these runs, they uh, broke records for themselves. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Great stuff to see. I mean, star of the show, like I said, Kyler, dude, we, we haven't seen him pop off like that in a long time, and I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I know everybody else did. 
And uh, shout out to Ragnar. This, you know. With that being said, Duke, you got anything else for people? I think that's it for the start of the Autumn Championship. We still got more, though, because Southeast Asia is going to be coming up in just a little bit. And then, of course, we got tomorrow, where we get into Europe, South America, and the day after will be all about N.A. Stick around. You don't want to miss it, but we will be out of here, and we'll be bringing y'all South America. No, no, Southeast Asia in just a little bit. <laughs> be right back. What do you think about I mean, if you... And with a character like this where you can die in, like, what's the difference? Oh, I still touch, man. He was sweat beating. Hey, like hey. Into the speed. Yeah, that was a really good one. You are correct. I, I would have oh. did something. Hey, oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Kyler, Kyler, Kyler relax. I know. Oh, my. Heck did nothing. Fair. There, was, there was no six coming out. It was just raw guitar. Yeah. And I think that, gosh, what a way to regard this. That's a burn dodge. That's a dare. Down oh, like ground. Wow. Accurate with these hits. Those are clean. That's good. Chunking away. Mix up on the dodge coming out from her. Oh, oh dodge the that's same it. way. I had a day. It mean, like last year. I had a day where I just went through and I was reading them all. Oh my gosh. Talk, Talk about, about reading. Read. <laughs> <Yeah, you know. laughs> Yo, but a GC down to it. Got him the touch. In the second stock of Ragnar. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, oh, bing, bing, bing. Pow. Yeah. Oh. Here's again from Ragnar. This is so good. Oh my gosh, he's got the sword. You already know what's Stop. on the table. Oh. Bing, bing, bing. I'll see you later. Who is the He is approaching. Oh. <laughs> Godly with a good defense though. Oh. But messes up the counter attack. Godly, you said right. Bro, right, bro, right here. Oh, you were looking for it? I thought you were looking for it. There was one right there. I thought it was on the He lost his soul. I thought he was going to go get some water, put his hand in the sticky or something, you know? Three, two, one. Shaking the hand. Good 
sense. Try to pick him out. The misdirection. Try to make him flinch. Scare him, scare him. Ooh. So my balance is ever strong. A push. Oh, okay. Nice Take defense from Megdi though. Take Godly. A lot of fakes, faking back and forth. Oh! oh. That's a weighing game! That's a weighing game right there! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 Can you like I'm like, from the UK! <laughs> 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 Water. Earth. Oh. Fire. Air. Going to Terminus in Brawlhalla's Battle Pass Season 8. Termidex is a deadly mix of cybernetics and dark heart exposure. Excessive mining flooded Terminus with dark heart and produced corrupted blood Tesca. Prepare yourself for the results of multiple dark heart experiments. Terror Watt Zal. Neo Street Hattori. Live Action Orion. Street Sovereign Petra. Play, level up, and unlock the secrets of Terminus. The effects of Dark Heart exposure can be seen on everyone and the city itself. The corrupting power of Darkheart will change Brawlhalla forever in Brawlhalla's Battle Pass Season 8.
Hello, everyone. Welcome back here. It's the Autumn Championship, and we're getting in Southeast Asia. I'm Taza. Flam is going to be joining me to bring us into Saturday. As yeah. we, <laughs> at least over here in the States, as we're going to be getting into this top four here. We've got, I believe, Himwe and Keith the, the Poo Poo. Poo. Yeah. Our, our, our routine, can he break the production graphics check? Yeah, actually. Yeah, right. You know, it's, it's good that you bring that up because I <laughs> hadn't thought about it. No, you know, <laughs> it's good that you bring it up because I'm like, huh, have we adapted or – Yeah, it's, it's the just literally the test every time. Every time. I know? think I've been on two Monday esports dev streams where Toast is like, okay, Keith, we fixed something because we couldn't fit the entire The Poo Poo on the screen, and now we can. It's important. It's like a Tribe Called it Quest. It can't just be Keith. It can't be Keith Duh. Can't just be poo poo. It gotta be the whole thing. Now the question is, will the whole thing be on the stream this weekend, <laughs> right? Because because he's in winners finals right now. Um, but the result of this match will be whether he's gonna be in grands later on. Actually, I guess he technically gets more screen time if he goes down into elimination and then bracket resets and grands. We'll just have to see what happens here. Yeah. Him him way, however, has been PR one and a star here in Southeast Asia for pretty much the the whole year. Um and with like, with kind of telling everybody that Taros is cool to play again, I mean, he's just got all the motivation that he needs to play Axe this this whole weekend, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, like, come on, bro. I f There's part of me that's like, ain't no way. One, I think Stingray been on this. Like, been, been on this. Kind of was the first one to like really get the results with it. But I remember even like... Spring Royale. Okay, yeah, but he was like pocket picking. It was Zol. I, I know what you're talking about. He he was the first to say it. I think yes, in, from yes. North America. See, he couldn't execute yeah. it, but he already could tell that like yeah. it was there, you know. And now everyone's like, all right, now that finally someone actually did it, I guess I'll bite their style. I mean, he he uh, he he did pretty well. Did he nine? I think he nine would Godly that weekend. Three. Yeah. Two. <laughs> <laughs> all on Taros. Yeah, it was uh, it was destruction. Um, oh, but we're, we're not yeah. in South America. We're over here in Southeast Asia, despite what Duke accidentally said at the end of the last block. Uh, and here we go. It's him Wave versus Keith. And Keith uh, on the JN with the 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 heavy in popsicle stick. Yeah. Oh man, I just, it's the one skin I didn't get. I'm still salty. I just, it is so fuego. But no, we got ourselves some good gameplay to start. I mean, you know I love Greatsword. So, yes. Uh, I'm already having a great time here. Uh, and Great Sword's finally in like a nice little state, I think, um, where like a lot of the problems have been addressed, especially with dash landing being a thing, and everybody's like, oh no, my combos, and it's like, actually, we figured it out, guys. And now people are like, okay, Great Sword, this might be the weapon to 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 play nice. going into this weekend. Nice job with the recovery. And Great Sword's like been this for most players, this weird weapon where they're like kind of secondarying and they're just kind of like i'm trying to keep it ready in case i believe yes. in it right they're like i'm ready in case it's something to believe in but not really any true great sword mains going crazy i feel like i feel similarly to you i mean use of course was like yeah you know i think great sword is cool but there's no way i'm gonna play it on land <laughs> <And> so <laughs> then like we didn't really get kind of that uh that arbiter if you will of great sword in kind of the top level of play but here we do have Keith trying to hold it down with the weapon, arguably looking really good. I think it's been really interesting for me to observe just how the weapon has changed with the addition of dash landing. Mm -hmm. Because it, it already can kind of feel like people are running away from you and they refuse to land on you because the weapon's so good at covering landings, right? And, you know, with dash landing, it makes it even harder to kind of like catch up to them in some ways. But. You also get the buff and movement, so it is a, it is a give or take. So you have an easier time if your movement's crispy getting in, but in the same vein, if someone's really good at using it evasively, it can feel pretty hard. Well, and and you you kind of landed on why I overall think it's just a uh, a positive thing in general, where you're yes. just kind of like the better you are at the game, yep, the better you're gonna get from it, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's like, like if your movement's better, you're probably gonna hit them more and get hit less, and uh, that's absolutely the case. Down by down air puts him way up the left side of the stage. Was wondering if he's gonna go for a, uh, a side stick nice. there, but double down here catches him off that uh, recovery, and that's an even game here. Man, it is it is wildly uh, wildly out of place staring at this popsicle. <laughs> like look at this, I'm like, <laughs> I, especially because he's using default color schemes. You just get you just get the red, white, and blue there. That's uh, that's something. That's the classic, right? What is it? It's like uh, I'm trying to remember what the, uh, the I know what you're the talking about. Are. It's not it's not like Neapolitan because that's like uh, I'm trying to think of. But ice cream flavors are. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. I just know, I know white is like lime, 
or like lemon lime, right? Uh, and then uh, blue is probably like blueberry or something. And then red is like, what is it, raspberry? Raspberry? Okay, cool. There you go. You got, got the, the holy trifecta of deliciousness. Nah, cause th these used to be my favorite popsicles as a kid. They were called firecrackers. Lime colored green? Or am I just wrong? Well, All I mean, the li limes, yes, they're usually green. But if you think of like Italian ice, right? Like, th th oh. think of Italian ice when you when you look at that. And okay. it, you know, it makes more sense, you know? I, or like I'm i sure it does. The people who knows what that means. Or like Sprite. Don't. You know what Italian ice is? No. No idea. What? <laughs> what do you mean, what? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like, <laughs> just like we just had a whole conversation <laughs> about like, I'm just like Italian ice. Why well, is that any different than regular ice? I mean, it's Italian it's ice very too. different. I don't know what what makes it different. Are you, you can't tell uh, me. Okay, okay, okay. That's so what I'm saying. I asked you why, and you're looking at me. <laughs> I'm just like it's just like. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he almost hit the blast zone at the end of the end line. That would have been hilarious. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what? Fine. So. Keith goes down game one, despite having control the entire time. Um, and him way takes, uh, takes the lead in the set. So you don't know about Luigi's. Oh, oh my gosh, Tyler, you're, you're killing me here, dude. <laughs> 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 it's, uh, okay, like, uh, so, so if there's ice cream, uh -huh. right, and, and then there's like uh, sorbet or something like that. That's another word I don't know. Brother. We gotta just focus <laughs> on the game. We all right, gotta. yeah, we're pivoting back. I didn't think it was gonna be all this. Dude, there was this one time where I was like, I it was on a charity stream, and and there was a thing where I got a card where I was supposed to draw like a quiche or something, and I've never heard the word in my life. What? I had no idea what I was drawing. So what'd you draw? I didn't just, I just didn't draw anything. <laughs> all right, somebody got his I mean, I mean, assignment. I, just, I, just, I just tried. <laughs> it was like, what was it? It was like a, it was like a, like a Pictionary game or something. I don't remember. It's like, like Drawful or yeah, something. Yeah, I don't, or, you know, I don't know. Garlic phone or something. And I was just like, how am I supposed to know what this is? And someone was like, this is like some kind of like pie-like thing that has like cheese in it or something. And I was it's like, like, It's like eggs. I had but no like, idea. <laughs> Never heard of it in my life. These words are anyway, not. It's fine. Uh, okay. Huge lead from Imway here in game two. Um, and Keith, uh, while having a strong start before, looks like the... Uh, I, I was gonna say something about Italian ice, but I have no idea. Yeah, I just, dude, I, I really, I really don't. <laughs> <laughs> I really feel like I've slided you here on the I desk. Mean, you, know, you know, you know, like shaved ice is, right? Like, yeah. Okay, so think of like you mm -hmm. get like a block of ice that's like flavor, like something, you know, and then you just like you scrape it, and then like that. I see. Uh, I'll have to get oh. you some. But all right, here we go. Keith the poo poo gets a stock with that great sword. You know, now that I'm talking about this game that. You know, I'm here for slash. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of why you guys bring me here. Oh, right? pivots the end light opener and gets side light nared for it. Um, falling down here there for reaching too high. And Keith, he's going off the side of the stage. The popsicle has been melted. Can he make it back? Side light hit. Stop, Sare. He's out of there. One stock left, and Himway uh, could be up 2 0 in this winner's final. It's really funny because I feel like. Like, yes, like, Hammer got, like, honestly, some, like, really slight changes, you know? Uh, Literally. Slight. It's like, like, like yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, like, Doing it feels like everyone suddenly remembered how to play the weapon. Like, <laughs> I'm like, you know. I mean, it doesn't. It, it's really. I, in, my, in my head, it was, oh, Stomp got some end lag on Whiff. Now nobody wants to play it anymore. And then everything else has gotten some stuff, and Stomp was never really that bad to begin with, and now we're just like, oh, yeah, the weapon was fine. Oh, unless gets uh, – oh, no, and, Ke and Keith is just kind of like, ah, How now I'll show off my this? dash landing. you got to have a great sword stock. This is the only way. Get two reads and win. Yeah, you need two solid reads. He misses the first one. Himway picks up the axe. I think down might oh, be you got, you, you got strong. No, he's got he's got a little bit more life. Did you get back on the stage? You grab and catch the side stick like a madman. I would. Mm. He has enough hops on it that he goes right over the lip. Oh, you're talking about the the, the side stick on Great Sword. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Landing dare didn't get punished for it. Down sig sends him flying. That's the heartbreaker. Um, is that like what Terrace down sig? No, it Great Sword down air. <laughs> oh. Is that like a lot of times it is? If it connects, it's good when it lands. Sometimes. Because you could go straight into bridge finisher. Like I feel like usually the the answer is you go for for end light uh, bridge right uh, just because it's the only one that's like you get nothing Three, guaranteed two, but end light bridge one, I think is like one dodge window or something like that so usually if you just go for it you almost always get it on most people um, 
But the like actual down air itself does like no damage because you're getting the ground diversion, right? And so like when you whiff it like that, it feels like the, the risk reward wasn't worth it. I mean, he even hit it there and he just got stomped for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, ah. Eh. Most but, of the time, what great sword players are looking for is they're looking for that pop up before it gets yes. in the ground. So you see like those rising dares or, or what have you. Uh, but yeah, it is an interesting. It's interesting when you bring that up because I, I I failed to consider the damage that you're missing on yes. the landing animation. That time, though, however, gets the sideline finisher it's sick. off of it. That's yeah. when it's sick. And but then down air branch like, guards here. Oh, doesn't even need it. You can't punish some things, or I won't say you can't punch some things, but some things you can only punish with a grounded down air, and you have to pick which side it's going to hit on. It's like just like a thin hitbox, and so if you guess wrong, you get the grounded lag, and then you just eat crap for it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, particularly awful when you're fighting Taros, right? Yeah, he, <laughs> very the bad. One, the, one, the one move he's going to hit, it's probably going to hurt really bad. Um, Keith had some nice dash land movement where he like did a pivot dash land into uh, jumping Nair. And he's actually playing really well around the, the, the Apocalypse side platform in this game. Himway stopping with, I, I think, the last three moves that have hit him in end light. He's, that's all he's really been able to get. Keitho, nice down air there. Didn't pop up from anything wow. crazy. Oh, and no dodge read there. I like what he was thinking. Yeah, it can be a little awkward there because sometimes you go for that end light bridge and then like it hits at the very tail end and you think you didn't hit them or you didn't get their dodge and you get kind of flashbang for a second because you're like, ah, I don't really know what to do with my offense right now. Nice scoop goes to that Nair. Keith does recovery out of the way of that ground pound. Okay, I mean, he, this is this is a really huge change of pace here where I'm kind of wondering what happened with him way because, because, um, ooh, ooh. I, I could, I don't know, Keith's about to be up three stocks to one. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for Keith. Keith needs this. Wow, I, now that sent on stage, which is like a pretty good break for Keith here. D light recovery. Okay, I, I was about was, to like I don't even think it was decision. like true with how he he comboed that there. It just, it just ended up being like it was like okay, I'll let him have it. It did it did take a while, right? Yeah. It's like it was like uh, between you pressing that recovery and not, but then like honestly, D light oh. recovery is so like I generous. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the word I was looking for. It's like you really can just kind of take your time with. It. Yeah, that that'll happen. That's part of fighting Taros with great sword. If like, you if you can stay perfectly stacked with Taros. You can kind of avoid it. You know, like how, like in MMOs, they have like those area of effect things yes, that like you tells you where the, the damage. Yeah, <laughs> you're like if you stand perfectly in the center, you won't get hit. Like everyone playing Lost Ark for like <laughs> that <laughs> month. for exactly two months. Of yeah. <laughs> oh man, I had fun. It was nice. it was a novel experience. All those uh, those cutscenes. JV3 coming in uh, coming in here for game three. We're going up. It's it's two one for uh, in favor of Himway still, despite the dominant game from Keith. And Himway is going to have two counter picks and an opportunity to switch off Terra so he doesn't feel like that's the answer. But I, I do think he's just going to get away from Apocalypse. And uh, and, and uh, unless Keith could show me something else, this feels like it's a 3-1 coming through here. I, I don't know. Yeah, well, what's interesting to me is that actually that Keith opts to Three, go for the two, defense stance, one, um, which like... On oh, and Yeah, yeah. It, it's not a it bad... It might just though. literally be Terra's countermeasures. Like, That's true. But like, what what would what would be the stance that you think is usually preferred? Usually, I always go force, just because every individual hit that you do with your strings benefits from that, right? Right. So, like, and since great swords naturally trying to hit five light yeah. hits before a strong hit, it adds up. And even when it comes to the finishers, you're not pressing the heavy attack button, yeah, you know? Yeah. So like. Yeah, and openers and bridges, they don't scale and knock back in that way. Exactly. Okay. That 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 does make sense. Um, uh, he's just opting for that survivability, and it's working out well. Nice end light finisher nice. to recovery. Catches him landing, uh, and not not dodging, and that's a huge stock coming up from Keith. Actually, I was I was having my doubts going into game four, but it looks like Keith just warmed up on on the great sword, and now Himway's struggling both on hammer and on axe. And I actually like this game plan here from, from Keith, kind of oh side plats <laughs> using the side plats, and yeah. honestly, I I think as far as matchups go. That if I run into Hammer, I'm never sweating as a great sword, personally. Interesting. Um, if I get off stage, like, yeah, everyone sweats against Hammer off stage. You know, it's a completely different game we're talking about then. Mm -hmm. When I'm on the stage, it's like, what is it going to threaten me with that I can't stuff out? Yeah, and we're actually seeing, well, okay, neutral signal will catch him jumping, but the recovery is on the way back. And what we're seeing from Keith on the side plats, actually, is him, like, taking this lead and then is comfortably going to one platform. When Himway gets underneath him to shark with Nairs, he just dashes over to the other one. Um, and Himway is starting to get some hits in here and there, but Keith is returning with some damage himself every single time, and it's still three stocks.
box to two. It's adding up very quickly. Yeah. Oh, and I mean, at this point, Keith is like, oh, goes for the greedy <gasps> one. Says, he I don't think he's going to die. Jump out of stomp. Yeah. That's that's rough. He does get the Nair afterwards, but dropping stomps there at that point uh, could cost you quite a bit. And him way, I mean, D-Light recovery with that knockout? I don't think it would. D-Light neutral sig would unarmed. Let's see what he could do. Keith looking for something. Okay, well, D-Light and a lot of things would do it here. Yeah, that'll be it. D-Light recovery off the top. And Keith on the verge of bringing this to game five, and actually just looking like a completely, completely different player to be to completely, completely honest. Like I'm looking at a movement, his movement, and I'm like, okay, well, what's him way gonna do? Okay. This is what I want him wow. to do. I think you just kind of go act only and forget the, the hammer is what I think. I feel like uh, as far. Oh. oh wait, bro. Make wish. Down air, down air again. Make a wish. Down air again. I mean, Keith is just. Okay, he's back. He's yeah, back. He made it back, but he I got mean, chopped up, yeah. Stomp Jeez. scoop, nicely done, and hey, and that spacing too. It had him in. That was three side light combos. Like it was like side light air, side light air, side light side air into four X airs. Oh my god, what is Himway doing? Himway was getting mad that I was believing in Keith. I don't understand. Keith, Keith can't get like anything started for a second. Oh, he's dropping stomps there though. He's a weapon. Oh, and he got that axe out. We already saw what that axe can do. Yeah, Keith has been getting hit by so many dares from Himway on the way down as he overextends after, like, one neutral hit. Oh, Sidelight Nair comes through again. Himway on the verge of bringing this back. I mean, he was down almost an entire oh. two stocks. What the heck? Yeah, I don't... <gasps> oh, cheeky from Keith. Whoa. Cheeky. But that's the thing that I think everyone forgets about is that, like... I don't think I've seen that James Sig knockout ever. It's... It's good. It is good. It's good. It's not the strongest, but it's not the weakest either. It's like right in the middle. You know, I feel like if I had to like, I'd say like Val and Sig levels of kind of like KO potential. Yeah. Recent Val and Sig, I should say, not mm -hmm. old Val and Sig. Game uh, five. But the angle is much better. And so, like, that kind of helps a lot in scenarios like that. Yeah, where you're Val, Val Ensig still has the benefit of that, like, one position on stage where he's grounded. Yes. <laughs> Developer fun fact, Jay and Neutral Sig on Sword hit, hit grounded during testing. Did it? Oh, wow. <laughs> you should have never told me that. Get it back. <laughs> <laughs> It'll that will never come back. <laughs> no. He needs it. <laughs> I remember looking at that, and I'm like, guys? <laughs> I was like, are we sure? Uh, anyway, game five. Using that neutral stick in the air where it was meant to be used and, and doing it to great effect. I mean, he took Himway off the top in orange. Like, yeah. Uh, like, that was like, if that didn't hit, I think Himway was a, was going to hit his next side there and that was going to be the game. And now we're back on Miami Dome. Uh, and it's the closest that I think it's been between these two so far. We had, like, two blowouts back, back and forth. Um, first two games into the second two games. And now we're here in game five. Himway gets hit by that sideline finisher, dodges oh. the weapon throw, and they're both unarmed. Yeah, he lost that great sword by accident there, but manages to find another one. Gets Ooh. stuffed on the oh. side air and almost loses the stock for it. Needs to find a way down. Can't do it and is going to lose the stock as Himway is always able, apparently, to find just a sneaky little moments to go ahead and secure that lead. Yeah, Himway, Himway's uh, getting huge advantages when Keith is directly beneath or above him, which usually you, you think like the disadvantage state is one or the other, but like Keith like chases him away in the sky, gets axe dared three times, or he'll try to land on top of him way and he'll get stomped. But a good corner guard there with the stair, and those are where he's actually benefiting. If he can't, he's not, he's he's doing very well horizontally. He's not, he's not doing yes. so well vertically. Uh, and Himway, having him above him once again, hits several nares and Keith barely manages to get a landing through. Okay, and you can see Keith looking for the dodges in, Himway dodging out now. And so it depends. Is Keith actually going to like go for a read on it, or is he just going to hold oh, center? There's the read. Gets five hits. Falling side air actually sends Himway off, and he goes for that side signature, going for a jump read, and Himway ducks right underneath it. But the damage has come oh. through. Down sig to get him oh. off. Chases him all the way off to the side of the stage. That was. Oh, I don't know about the dash jump side air there. You could lose your stock here, man, just to get another touch, but he needs to get out this corner. You know what Taros can do. Mm -hmm. I don't think uh, he's at risk of getting knocked out the down stick just yet, but that side light ended up being stacked, and they both kind of drop their strings as they stay stacked on top of each other. A little odd moment there. Down light takes the weapon out of his hands. Weapon spawn comes through, and him wait very cleverly. I mean, that was like great reaction times on that spawn to yes. steal it away. Because he was in the middle of nairing when he picked that up. Oh, just runs up with the unarmed side air. Oh. Has to get out this corner, though, and, you know, neutral light, D-light is exactly what Himway's going to be looking for. <laughs> okay. uh, three times now, right? One arm there, almost doing the job there. Falling sider, second swing only. Takes Himway down, and Keith one. Stock away. 
from getting in the grand finals here in the Autumn Championship. It's hard to get the extra credit here. You get one read before you die, you feel really good here. But you did get a hit. Poke. Yeah, the sidelight opener. How much damage is that? Like eight? eight around there, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, not a, it's enough to technically be on the board, right? Like if we went to time right now, <laughs> Which is going to happen. But <laughs> no, it's like, like you just run away for five more minutes. I hit my greatsword sideline. Oh, accent light oh, hits him. I, I mean, know. he wants the greatsword. I, I kind of thought about the Whoa. situation the last time was that, like, he was very damaged and picked up a greatsword, and you knew that he was probably going to lose his stock with it, which meant that coming into the next stock, he had to find a moment to get rid of the sword to get the greatsword back. All right, he's poking him with these dares. He's getting the full damage out of it. That's three dares in a row now. Okay, he's been doing the side plant, yeah, bobbing and tech. weaving. Yes. And the dare comes through again. That's four. Could have gone for a double dare there, I think, as well. Oh, but he goes for the dare. Ends up landing into the stomp sider. Ooh. Double nair from Himway just barely misses. Stomp sider oh. catches him out of his recovery, actually, I think. He got I think? stuffed. So he has dodge and he died. No ground pound or anything. Yeah, Ooh. I mean, I don't think Himway really realized how dire that was for Keith. The recovery hits through here. Oh, Keith, ah. is he going to steal this game again? Yep. Oh, goes to the end line finisher. Nair oh, just barely shot. does a knockout. Oh, you're going to hit here. He's going to be able to survive because it's the end light. Whoa, okay, exhausted right. recovery. Baits Himway, actually. Weapon <gasps> spawn perfectly comes in. Weapon. Oh, he's waiting it out. Show he me is, your dash landings. He gets the recovery. Oh, the sword's picked up. Oh, he sidelights away. Show Do me that your recovery best would do it. impression. He spot dodges ah. in place. He misses the nair. They're both looking for that one hit. Give me the D-line. Ah, oh, he misses. They're both missing he's stairs. The they don't want to put it out. They don't want to get punished. They're just staring. Do it. Oh, it's gonna be Cider hits. Not gonna be the. Let's, <gasps> let's go, Keith the Poo Poo. Wow. <laughs> what a what a ground pound. He did what Himway was too afraid to do, on the hammer and that on that edge guard. That's right? true. Yeah, right, no, right, he there, had the game was, locked up right there. It was stuffed recovery. He had no jumps. He had to horizontal dodge to even make it to the stage. We we're both sitting there being like, "Where's the hammer ground pound?" Because I, I was thinking like, you really only have two mix-ups in that scenario. Oh, he saw the dodge. And honestly, that's terrifying. I wonder if it was like that was a pretty hard. Wow. It was a pretty hard call out because I think if Himway covered his head with hammer and air on the way back to the stage, mm. would that have outranged the sword ground pound? He yeah, just it's drifted. like a, it's like a timing. But thing, I don't. Right? I don't know. I know hammer stare changes the momentum of you in the air. I don't know if Nair would have been like enough to make you not touch the stage. I mean, that was that was crazy fast from Keith mm. in that situation. Um, yeah, and it's weird, too, wow. just because of the way that, like, you have to input. I don't know what control scheme he's rocking there, because if mm -hmm. you, like, are able to, like, hold forward and up to get your nair there, then, like, I think you get to drift the full amount, because I don't think hammer nair, like, really stops you in that regard. But, like, depending on if you have, like, prioritized neutral over side, yeah. you might have to input it as I stop, move yeah, into yeah. the side, then input the neutral air, then hold side again. And I just think I just up. think Himway wasn't ready for Keith to be that ballsy, to be honest. Now like, he, Keith, Keith had that stare, and he, that was the fastest possible ground pound that he could have put out there. And it came through, and he got the win, and that's a reverse 3-0 yes. for Keith going into Grand Finals. And to be honest, well I think played. the difference really was just that uh, Keith was willing to take risk. Like, even one of the games he won, he kind of yeah. robbed, right? That neutral sig was him, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just kind of said, I'm going to do it. He actually just robbed him way twice. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that, it was well played in that regard. And and I think I think we could have pointed to several moments where it was like, Himway, you're being a little too safe for some of this stuff. And you know what? That's what makes Keith the victor, at least this time around. Mm -hmm. Himway goes down to the elimination final. He's going to be waiting for the results of the bracket that we got coming up next. And I think what's coming up next is um, – is the, we got we Sire got Jerry K and Jerry and Sire. K. Okay, cool. Okay, wow. Huh. It's What's interesting because I'm like, when was the last time that like I got to cast Jerry K? I feel like I haven't seen that name in a long time, even though I've been consistently. I recognize placing, it. You know, yeah, I feel yeah. like I've said it a lot. Um, it looks like he uh, he was reporting that he was on the tour, and we you got know, Raymond. I've just side. been doing Aus, is what it is. <laughs> that's uh, what it is. I've just been is. doing Australia. I know. I know that's like. I'm pretty sure Jerry K has been. In every C top yeah, eight. that's why. Yeah. Like I think I'm like, there's yeah. no way he hasn't been here. So we've got we've got Hattori versus versus Rayman here, and so this is cool because um, there's a lot of chatter about like, oh no, blasters are dead because we lost Delight Recovery and uh, Axe and Hammer are meta. Um, but Spear didn't really get touched, and Spear was the kind of talk of the town alongside yeah. Bo and stuff in singles. There's been all that success from Java we were talking about in North America. So Jerry. Um, 
has been playing a Tori for a bit, and it doesn't surprise me that he's on there. And then there's still the question oh. of like, well, since Axe and Hammer are both good, you have your Axe Legends and your Hammer Legends. You can diversify. You don't have to be Taros. Um, Sire's been playing Rayman for quite a bit. Yeah, this is really, uh, you know, it's, I mean, the game, I think, is oh. a pretty solid spot right here. Oh. I mean, Rayman does what Rayman does best, right? You get hit by that down sig, and then even if it doesn't KO outright on its own, it makes the edge guard that That's comes a tilter. after. There's so very few easy. moves in Brawlhalla that I feel like are tilters, and it's both of Rayman's down sigs. Yep. <laughs> like, like, yep. Like, you're just like, oh, man, I really got hit by that. He's just uh, he's just such a happy guy Ooh, nice. while he's, like, hitting you over the head with an axe. You see, I feel like, at least for Rayman, like, it's tilting to get hit by, but I always feel like it's undeniably good. Whereas, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, if yeah, you get yeah. hit by, like, Wuxiang downsig on Spear, that, that's kind of tilting to me. Is it? Because like, they're bringing it out to style? <laughs> yeah. I think the coolest ones are when they, like, they do the slight... Oh, the downsig gets again. <gasps> oh! Okay. And the down air. Jerry K is not making it back from that one. Sire destroys him with a double downsig on that set. Now, that gets a little more tilting, I feel like. Yeah, no, that um, one definitely, like, that, that was whack-a-mole. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, so yeah. that one, it, that one just feels disrespectful. Right, right. Well, I mean, it was optimal in that sense, right? Because uh, you get a little bit more damage, better angle of knockback, and then he had the dares that he could rise with. You can't really rise with the Rayman down sig. You can steer it. You get some cool helicopter noises, but Silent Side Air Ooh, wow, calls okay. him out for not dodging, and that's huge. Uh, almost got the edge guard there with the weapon throw, and a oh. slight charge to end sig will basically guarantee Sire's taking this game one. I feel like. Yeah, is that gonna be down to the game? Pound now. Oh, yeah, yes it is. You know what? You have. I mean, it's so fast. It's I, fast. I, it really is like lightning quick. Like I rarely, if ever, get upset oh. for someone getting hit by this because just like it's so fast. Yeah, Rayman. We were. Every we were actually. Side? There's the down ticket. We're just having a down tick highlight reel. Look at that. He's, yeah, he's just bouncing side. down on the, off of Cherry Case. That's Pogo, but with axe. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Who would have thought? Oh man. Oof. Uh, and then we get that down sig right over here on this edge guard. Um, this one, the reason why I was so confident that that was coming through is I was feel like, I feel like Sire realizes this is getting to him. <laughs> like after the last two, I was like, he like was looking at Jerry K was playing. He was like, oh, you don't like this. I'm yeah. gonna do this again, and that's a totally fair thing to do. That's rule number um, one in fighting games: is if something is working, you do it more. <laughs> yeah, and you try to make it look like it's obvious while you're. You're technically not being obvious. Yes. That's like a it's a really big thing that I think that comes through. Like, uh, yeah, we can we can call examples for that all over the place. But at least in this game, it seems to be Sire on Three, Rayman with two, a down six. So we got Jerry K not switching oh. off of his signature kit. We're bringing out Zuko here. Um, still got sword and spear. Okay, interesting. So I mean, granted, last game obviously didn't look too hot for Jerry. Um, but not to say that I don't think it has anything to do with the weapon matchups, right? I, I feel like that was you got outskilled there, buddy. Mm -hmm. um, but looking a lot stronger in this game number two, I mean, the spear uh, seems to be getting the job done. Granted, it is spear and a gauntlet, which I think is a lot like more comfortable of a matchup. We really did see a lot of it come from the axe from Sire in that first game. And now that Sire has it, I want to see how Jerry's able to deal. Ooh, Sire's been going for a lot of these heavy sidelight side uh, side air reads. And and you really are just trying to call out your opponent and not uh, jumping out of Sidelight Nair when Remember doing when that. Remember when that was true? I do. Oh. It, was a, it was a really close spacing, but it was there, yes. and it was devastating. Yeah. Now it's – it. I almost feel like it's better in a way, even though it's not true, because the window is tighter on all spaces. Mm. Now. Like before, like if you didn't get like right stack, Sidelight Nair was never going to hit, and now Sidelight Sider is actually just reliably a tight dodge window at all – Ranges. Which is cool um, for like conditioning reasons as well, yeah. because like if you just go for it, like we've seen Sire do multiple times in this set, then like you start forcing your opponent to like look out for it and make defensive options based off of that, and then you start reading that, and you get a whole lot of yeah. uh, damage and early KOs. Probably. And depending on the kind of player you are, you get hit by Silent Stare, and you might think to yourself, I shouldn't be getting hit by that. Yes. And then, yeah. And then, and then what's that like? That like? Oh. Those those toxic thoughts come through, depending on how you how you operate. It can be pretty rough. But the deal that recovery comes through, Jerry. Is a uh, side air away uh, from getting knocked out here. Sire, however, goes off stage, tries to go for that gravity cancel. Delight. Um, unarmed recovery comes through. Weapon throw into end sig. Uh, what's what's oh. going to be here? It's going for the, the longest read of his life there. Yeah, we kind of see, like, I mean, the game looked fairly close in the beginning. Then Sire got an axe. And then uh, Jerry kind of got clobbered. We need for to see a while. who knocked Sire. 
into Elimination Bracket. He went to game five with Wheezy. I'm just looking at Sire's move and I'm going like, okay, he's playing pretty nice right now. It could just be like the contrast with Jerry K, but this is looking like he's going to be uh, his set to win. Although I was just saying that with him way against Keith and then we got the game three and everything changed. So let's yeah. just keep watching. I mean, what, one thing I have been thinking just across all regions recently is that uh, leading into BCX, uh, the players that we're going to see... Oh, wait, hold on. We have a, he did touch. a strong edge guard here. Nice. Okay. D like ground pound. Boom. The players that we're going to see, like, either remain at the top or feel as if they're getting, like, meteoric rises to the top are all going to be the ones that implement just, like, dash landing mm -hmm. the best, right? And, like, that's why even for Java, I was like, all right, like, this was a matter of time with the way that this guy plays. And oh, I yeah. He like literally, like, searches for every minute technical movement detail that he could possibly get. It feels get, like yeah. specific, a specific kind of player got buffed, yes. <laughs> you know? And so I'm just waiting to see who those types of players are. And I feel like uh, Sire is one of those two. Yeah. Uh, Sire actually got punished pretty hard for going for his down sig cheese off the right side of the stage. I think he got a little too silly for it. And Jerry K actually turned into an edge guard. And now Ooh. Sire is playing a lot safer. Uh, lots of gauntlet neutral light comes through. Uh, honestly, he's probably going to look for a neutral light and a landing here yeah. on Axe. I don't think you want to go for anything crazy. Light. That's all you need. Down light off the top would probably knock out. Uh, he's just going to be playing a ground again the entire time. There it is. Uh, that was interesting. I like, like, Sire went for like this crazy down sig thing, got reversaled, and then I like saw immediately he was like, okay, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you, you show me you can deal with it now. Uh, I won't, I won't keep doing that. And Jerry K actually has a pretty good case for making game three a lot closer, but he doesn't want to do it on the Atari. We're, we're watching that downlight knock up there. Almost 700 damage dealt in a singles game. That's, um, that's a that's lot. That's a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it's a Surrey coming out now. So he's got, uh, switching the spear over to the guitars and, and in his defense, he was really just doing most of his damage on, on the sword. I feel like that's, I agree. Three, the spear two, was not a, was not cooking the way he needed it to. And so I feel like, especially if most of the damage you're doing is coming from the sword and also you're just like looking to rack up damage, Katara is definitely a great response to go for there. Mm -hmm. Asuri has been this pick for so many people for so long. Yeah, and then, and then if you're just looking, if you're one of those players that's like, I want this weapon with a balanced uh, stat spread, Asuri is always a good go-to. Sire, however, putting out tons of nares, trying to keep Jerry K from landing onto the ground. Dodges a weapon throw. Katars now on the field. First time in Jerry's hands this set. Let's see what oh. he does with it. And the first time he goes for an attack, it ends up being a trade. Don't love that. But with that said, I mean, Jerry almost gets KO'd by that axe recovery off the top. Just trying to get something here. Well, go sidelight into dash jump nair. That's not really a conversion I've seen. Yeah. Usually it's just like the D light or the end light, but it, dash jump nair is like interesting. I wonder why you'd go for that. Oh, for maybe the potential follow-ups afterwards. I think on paper it's not optimal for damage, but it's optimal for a bunch of other stuff that you can get afterwards. Either way, Sire takes the first stock. Jerry K, second to last stock of the tournament potentially. Let's see if he can bring this back before he takes a ton of nairs. Dash jump uh, side air gets easily punished on the landing there with the one D light side air, but oh. That was so quick. Oof, oof. Dare landing dare uh, down light goes for the down take again. If he held that a little bit longer, it may have worked, uh, but the pressure is still being applied, and he hasn't lost the stock just yet. Yeah, and the scary part is too is like if Sire keeps going for these. Um, oh, he <gasps> missed the edge guard. Oh, and then Sire goes for the reversal anyways. Yeah, if Sire wants to go for like Axe Ground Pound now, it's like that much more of a threat because like you're thinking about the Axe Down Sig and it's like oh, a much thinner hitbox. With the conditioning that he's had. Yeah, because because Axe, uh, we're talking about Axe Ground Pound, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like uh, it also just lasts longer as well as being able to cover more space in that regard. Yeah, the, the advantage that Rayman Down Sig has is that it's quick. Yeah. But it is quick both like in how it comes out and also how long it lasts. And now, wow, Jerry, that was like nine unanswered hits there. Sire really? dash lands forward with that jumping recovery. Dash, the movement wow. from Sire's there. And that's what we were talking about, right? Like, he, he got hit by all that, and he was like, okay, I'm, I'm sick of this. And both of those recoveries were actually off of his movements. Because mm. uh, that wasn't off of sidelight. He was just he was just waiting for Jerry K to take the sky so that he could hit that recovery and take him off the top. That was really well played. Yeah, I mean, especially, I think he got like a max range gravity cancel D light there. Like, just the spacing looking immaculate as well. I mean, look at the way Sire was able to land, right? Just zipping all across the screen. But not quite right there. Right there, he just kind of turned around, and Jerry just smacked him. Oh, he went for a unarmed ground pound there. Does pick up the gauntlets, tries to get a landing. That's the second, like, 
uh, last hit Sayer that Jerry K has got in this set. And he's actually even things up pretty quickly. And switching over to the guitars here, I like this because I think Sire has shown that he's he's been a little uh, lackadaisical in the dodges against this weapon so far. Jerry K could potentially get a huge string there. He gets the backswing of the Nair to send him off stage. Okay, good little strings coming up from Jerry K here. Needs to find another opening though, because Sire gets a huge three piece. That's a lot of damage. Jerry trying to guard the weapon, gets swatted away, which means things are looking pretty precarious oh, here. The, the weapon, weapon throw, throw forces him down. He, oh. Was that supposed to be ground pound? Well, that one definitely connects, and Jerry K actually never touched the stage to begin with. Sweats off the bottom of the stage, and he's out of the Autumn Championship. Sire knocks him out 3 0, moves in the top four. Oh, man. And that one, I, I can't really say that set was close at all. I felt like Sire just completely had Jerry K's number. Jerry tried to fight back. We saw a legend swap by the last game. It didn't mm. really make much of a difference. I, I will say that like Jerry was able to get like roughly close to 500 damage in that last game. Yeah, um, the guitars did some work. Yeah, they definitely uh, much better than the spear did, I'd say. Yes. Um, but yeah, I think Sire was just kind of kind of outmatched him, which is interesting because I was looking at the, the path that Sire had on the way here, and he went to game five with his opponent before this. Mm. So it's probably a nice relaxing set by comparison. Um, and that I did verify was to get in a top four. So now we've got our top four rounded out. Even though we had our winners finals, we're going to be getting semis coming up next. And I didn't see what was. Bang, 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 But bang, we'll bang. find out in a little bit because I think... We've got a Could short we, we, break coming up. Yes. So after that, we'll be back with Southeast Asia Top 4 right after this.
Oh, Snapple, Taza. <laughs> Loki has escaped Terminus. It's true. Yeah. And in fact, you can even see a little bit of his uh, of his gameplay, actually, if you go to the new Brawlhalla socials. Yes. You get, a, you get a sneak peek on of that. On that Twitter, on the X application. Yeah. I, was, I was like literally in my head. I was like, how how cringe do I want to be about calling out the uh, URL you gotta right now? You got to go full cringe. You can't. Is it, 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 sometimes it's still Twitter.com for me in some embeds, and sometimes it's just X.com. When I look at X.com, I actually think it's like a mistake. I mean, I type in Twitter.com yeah. every single time. Every time. Act like, yeah. Even when I look on my phone, I still look for the bird icon, and it makes me swipe through all my widgets at least five times before I realize that that's not what it that's looks like That's like taking anymore. 10 seconds out of your day. Yeah, My I goodness. Know well, whatever website you prefer, slash Brawlhalla, go there, check it yes. out. Loki has escaped Terminus, and it's only a matter of time before he comes to Brawlhalla with Katars and Scythe. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Mm. A lot of players are uh, having various opinions on that one. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I'm sure the wow. Lance players are still being like, oh my god, there's not enough. <laughs> no, the Lance Legend? <laughs> what? I, I swear, every single time when there's <sighs> anything, Cossack's got to be the one to drop the, <laughs> well, out of the base roster. Of See, it Legend. didn't really count because it was like a nine speed boots legend. Yeah, and legend. you just throw the Lance away anyway. Yeah, we're good, bro. We don't need more of that. We don't. We don't. Um, well, we're back here in Southeast Asia, and we've got Laz versus Sire. Sire just had a crushing 3 0. Um, over Jerry K. And last talking to Maggie, the uh, epic crossover for Jala. Uh, so we're going to be seeing some Axe and Sword versus Axe and Gauntlets. And this is kind of what I was wondering what like each region Three, was going to two, pick between the one, dilemma of Hammer one. and Axe. And I do think that Axe has been out long enough that more people would be willing to pick up Axe with their, like, as a side weapon to their main than there would be Hammer, if this was a decision yeah, through I, here. Yeah, I feel like Axe, like, over the years, you know, it's gotten some changes, but the core game plan has remained the same. It's always been kind of designed as like a fairly simple weapon, right? Like, yeah. I mean, it's all, I won't say all, but a lot of the hitboxes are just like it is the, circles. It is the nice back air weapon. It is the nice yeah, back air have, weapon. Yeah, but we have, we have, we have Sarah, so. That, yeah. that is very, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Astute, maybe? <laughs> Apt. <laughs> Apt. Uh, Accurate. Yeah. Words that mean true. True. So true. <laughs> so true. So yeah. true. <laughs> oh, NSYNC didn't hit. Went for grab. That's actually really cool. I can't believe I haven't seen that more often. Like Rayman's going for grounded NSYG into immediate gravity cancel down SIG because it makes you airborne. Mm. D like Ground Pound will get the knockout there and it'll even up the stocks. But uh, Sire actually started off this game at a deficit against Lax. And so this is like a cool thing, right? Now that everyone's willing to play Axe again, that means Jal is going to be around for more than just doubles. Um, which is kind of mm. cool to see. I, I, I like seeing Jala in the singles environment. Yeah, and and it's it's funny that you say that because for a, a long time it was the opposite. But D-Lite Recovery comes through, even to, or takes the lead rather, uh, back into his favor there, two to one. And Sire, still moving nicely, but he's getting hit while moving this time. That, yes. That's the that's the difference between the, this last set and this one. Oh, stuff. That's kind of cool. Okay. If he pivoted that, that actually would have worked. And there's part of me that feels like Sire might like uh, still be kind of like I don't know how to say it. it's like lagging a little bit in terms <laughs> what, of like what, like like brain lag what are brain we lag in terms of like not realizing the person he's fighting now. Like I feel like a lot of the oh. follow up that he's going for is because of the set he just played, and those are reads that worked against his previous opponent. But it's not going to work here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually interesting. I wonder how often that happens in. Um a, in a game like Brawlhalla, where the movement of the characters that you're fighting is actually very similar. Because in, in a more like, the character is dependent on how it moves based fighting game, yes. I can see what you're saying happening if you fight the same character from two different players back to back. But uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Okay, what? Wow. Jeez. Gravity cancel, down sig into get stomped. Laz uh, takes a commanding victory there in game one. Yeah, Laz did not. Uh did not make that one look close. I mean, Sire was definitely struggling. Uh, couldn't really get much going with much of, like, anything with those gauntlets, to be honest. You know, got a hit here or there, but that was it. No edge guards, no scenarios where I was like, oh, we might see an early stock get taken here or, like, a wildly long string or anything like that. Um, and then the axe was like, it was I, right, but I think Laz just looked kind of just more clean in the neutral overall, you know? Mm -hmm. We'll see if anything changes going into game two. I think, I like I like your theory 
about about how Sire's like kind of waking up and being like, oh, I'm fighting somebody who plays like this now. And yeah. he's had his one game to adjust. And so now we find out if that's the case. Because um, you can't immediately read, like, with down sig, you know? Like, mm -hmm. like yes, you can if you're trying to send ooh, a message, but, like... Down sig? Oh, he went for it. I saw the startup frames of the gravity cancel. He just got hit by a nair immediately. Um, and that might be the last time that he tries that against Laz. Laz seems to be very good at recovering with Axe. Gauntlet's picked up. Nice landing coverage. Nice. That neutralite silent recovery goes all the way up in the air. It actually goes for ground pound. Sire just really, really just throwing out moves as much as he yeah. possibly can. I, uh, this is kind of how I'm feeling too. I'm like, all right, we just side ticking out and getting out the way, just kind of trying to stay unpredictable, which I think is like, you know, a very fine way of trying to approach the game sometimes. You don't really know where you're going. How's your opponent? Rayman going does really have the best signature kit for moving with your signatures instead of your character's movement. Yes. Uh, and Sire seems to be enjoying that. Much to his detriment there, as we see him get stared out of that neutral signature. He was like, I could dash onto stage, or <laughs> I could jump off this magic mushroom and, well, get hit off the side of the stage by a cider. Ground Pound comes through, evens it up much closer in game two here against Lass. Okay, so here we go. I want to see if Sire can maybe answer back here in this game, too. I mean, already looking closer just overall, but hasn't really gotten a streak of momentum. I'm looking to see when can he get that first hit, convert to two more, three more, four more, really get a read on your opponent's defensive options. But it seems like every time Sire gets a hit and then goes for a follow-up second hit, he's guessed Ooh. wrong like the past five times. Speaking of guessing wrong, guesses wrong on the offense there as well. Probably. Laz just immediately chops him up for it. One of the best ways to use Jala Down Sig, my favorite way to use it is when you gravity cancel it because you get like that rolling motion, kind of like Greatsword Downlight. Yeah, that's what um, I was thinking as well. But where, how he slide, slid it off the stage, he kind of got like a Sentinel esque center of the move mm. spike hitbox. That was really neat. I've never rare. really I've never really seen that before. And I'm like, wow, okay. Because you rarely see it hit from like the bottom. You yeah. Know? It's, it's always from the side, generally speaking. And so. Oh. Ends up talking away from the side of the stage. I don't even know. I, I feel. I guess Laz just didn't have a dodge. Okay, Sire evens it up pretty fast there. I thought Laz was going to run away with it after that. All right, good, because we needed that. I mean, Sire oh, definitely doesn't be down airs? too much. No. The juggles. Oh, you missed the weapon throw. Now you're in a really bad spot. You have to oh. wait for a weapon to spawn. There it is. You get chopped up, going to grab it, but only one nair isn't the worst possible scenario. Laz is doing so good with this offense, though. I mean, look at the reads on the movement from Sire. Sare one more Sire here. Oh, couldn't quite line it up. Oh. Sire, going to get some gauntlets on this There's one. the gravity cancel down to with that downwards motion. Not every single... Oh, oh, okay, Sire to come through, just hits him. Uh, opportunity here for an edge guard. Does a double jump side air. Sire gets a nair, nothing else after that. And now, really? Laz, oh. I think Laz was really banking on that side stick knocking out. And now he's like, oh, I've got I got to play the slow game here. And Sire has an opportunity. Okay, that down stick might have just cost oh, him. Oh, weapon throws not good. Now Laz doesn't really want to mess with Gauntlet's off stage unarmed. He was like, nope, I'm going over to sword. Side air, D light recovery, neutral sig even. That's a little sleeper option you could just, try right here. Just recovery at this point. He doesn't fall to the platform. There that D light recovery will do it. And Laz has now got Sire at match points up 2 0. A much better game from Sire. And I think this is the first game where I'd be like, you know what? I could see a reverse 3 0. If, if Sire, oh, you, you, you kind of looked, looked a little doubtful there when I said that out loud. I, I, f yeah. I, f I don't know. I, I would love to see it. But I feel like the way Laz is playing, I think this one might just be a 3-0. I think this one might just be a 3-0. Okay. All right. I think from games one to game two, Sire made some great this adjustments. This is true. And then I will concede on that front. I think. As opposed to the other games where it was just kind of like, I don't see the adjustments being made, but for some reason, Keith's winning. <laughs> like, that was like one of those things that happened. Here's a huge adjustment. This is a, just a character change to, to Mordex Three, coming out two. from Sire here. Oh, hold on. Uh, see, I guess he conceded the axe ditto to Laz. He was like, okay, you've got me beat. Now I'm going Sandstorm mode. I think that was the play to make, though I'm still skeptical about these gauntlets. Granted, they're starting off much stronger. I mean, look at this. That's a great... Well, wow, it must have gotten a, a little touch on the ground somewhere right there because he did just get the dodge. Ooh. But this is a beautiful first stock here. Stuffs the recovery. And I was saying I was a doubter behind these gauntlets, but Sire immediately saying, no, I think I know what I'm doing. And I'm like, all right, bro, you got that one. But look. I really want to see what all the right. site has to All right, you lock say. in Fenrir Mordex. You chant Scythe forever three times before going into your like turn of the match. <laughs> you do it in the mirror. And then, and then you summon the will of Sandstorm. That's and you go, you go up 
three stocks to one. Okay, okay, you why gotta stop it. I don't know why. <laughs> he did it twice. Yeah, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, bro, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> I think he just really wanted to clip. Um, Laz over here flabbergasted by this weapon. Oh my god. And they're again. gonna Guaranteed. give Loki scythe after this? That's what he's thinking right now. All right, maybe maybe you had it. I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I didn't think that, like, because a lot of the time I, I'd be watching Sire and Sire would just start with Mordex. There was a time where that was kind of the way Sire would approach. Yeah. And I, I'm like watching this and I'm like, bro, like, yeah. It's been a bit since I've heard that. I don't think I've heard complete annihilation yet on stream. It happened earlier today. Oh, it did? Yeah, I, oh, not in our set. Um, uh, you're talking about in Australia? But yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't hear it. Because you got you a few different sound bites at the end. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, annihilation, uh, obliterated, or, uh, utter destruction. I think that's one I of them. I think one of them's like your mom. I don't know. What? It's a secret one. Yeah, you gotta you gotta input a one special code chance. to get that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got the slow mo. <laughs> Here we go. It's not a three zero. Laz still sticking with Maggie here, going up against Sire, who's now on Mordex. Demon Island just a. Uh, uh, it is a noticeably different flat stage from Brawlhaven, where Sire was able to get so many of those early knockouts, where I feel like um, like something that is usually a talking point with Jala is that, like, hey, defense stance. Four defense still, though, right? Mm. That's that's something to, to think about. Yeah, you're, like, just doing it to fit in yeah, at this point, you know? It's not really giving <laughs> you the boons. It's just, like, I have to make sure they don't know that I'm alien. Uh. It's like press one if you're a townie, you know? You just start mashing one and kind of sailing. <laughs> Oh man, here we go. But Laz, looking like that last game did not phase whatsoever, right? Like yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I, I almost feel like the thing that you said in game one for Sire is actually what happened to Laz in game three, but instead of it being his opponent's difference, it's like, oh yeah, I'm fighting Scythe now. I, I, have, to, I have to dodge. <laughs> like yeah, if, or like, oh, oh there hits. Sire, and I... that's the difference between Demon Island and Brawl Haven, right? Like, I think Sire would have gotten, okay. I don't know what that means. I have questions. <laughs> I do not know that I will receive answers, you will but I not. have questions. Yeah, and I don't think you're going to, like, go that far to find them. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, I have questions, but I don't need to go in the chat right now. Oh. We could do it. We've got left stick oh. on standby. He could ask. He'd be like, why did you fall off the stage? Oh, no dodge here. Laz not going to pressure. A he did late. pressure, but but it was because it was late that it ended up not working out there. Sire tried to get, like, a dodge through right there. Went for a pivot side lane. Laz just knocks him away. Oh. Um, Sarah gets dodged out of the way there. Down so it could be huge if he goes for that same maneuver before. I feel like it covers that wall perfectly, but he just waits out Sire's jumps. And Sire does come back to the stage just to get in lighted again and again. Tournament stock for Sire once more. And you can see the evolution of Axe, right? Like, there was a time where people thought that K Young with Axe meant for fishing with side air, or, yeah. you know, back when Sidelight Sarah was true, fishing for that. But now, Across the board in every region, people have just gotten so content with, I'm just going to end light for the 15th time just, in a Just row. get Psylight Nair four more times. Yeah. And then end light or D light. Right? It, it's kind of reminiscent yeah. of like old gauntlets when neutral light used to KO, right? Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. It, it, eventually it will, but with Axe, since it just does more damage per hit, it's like, all right, yeah. Oh, and he gets that <laughs> nice pivot. <laughs> Dare weapon throw, ground pound. Laz makes quick work of Sire in game oh, four. Man. Knocks him out 3 1, and that was like. I'm like wondering if Brawlhaven was him just taking like a like a break. I don't know. That was there was a completely like a different. Cat nap. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Five sixty on axe, zero damage on sword. He really is just playing Jala for the axe and the stats. Um, I don't blame you. I gotta I gotta ask around actually. I haven't really done my homework on if uh, if d is Jala's dex high ish high? for axe. Is it six? I don't recall. I should look at the stats. Because we were talking about high dex axe with Volkov and how it was like kind of weird. I'm just trying to be like, does does dex give axe anything? I think it does like at four or five or something. In my brain, I'm like, like, not that I can really yeah, I don't think, think so. of. I'll have to ask, but either way. Sometimes I feel like like with Volkov, I feel like you can feel it. You know, I feel like you can like mm. feel it when you when you're just connecting attacks um, or whiffing them. But like otherwise, it's that's uh. That's Laz getting in the top three uh, on Jala yeah. as well. That's pretty great. And so that was a name where we were kind of like, okay, Laz. So it, it, that's, yeah, that's good. <laughs> <Finn. laughs> not yet. Not yet. I don't remember. I think Pugsy prefers Finn when locking in Jala, right? Where yes, it's kind of like, yes, what crossover yes, do I want? Yes. What, what crossover feels more broken to me? We got Maggie on, on Laz. Yeah, Maggie. Yeah, yeah. Which, so. like, is funny to me, I feel like. <laughs>
I don't know. I, I don't know how familiar you are with The Walking Dead. Not but, at all. Okay, well, fair enough. Yeah. Then I'm just gonna take. There what are I was folks going here at at, uh, at BMG <laughs> that literally like watched like nine seasons in preparation for this. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because there's some people who are just kind of like, oh wait, I just love the show now, but I just don't watch TV. So. No, that's fair. I know. I didn't even watch the show. I read the comics and they the comics, huh? that's really right. dive preferred. Oh yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like, uh, the difference between the manga and the anime, right? Yeah, like, it, <laughs> yes, but like. Yes, yeah. but like early 2000s, that problem, right? Because at least with anime, it was like, oh, we were adapting something and then we ran out of material because we made the anime too quick. So we're just going to make up our own ending. Uh -huh. And that's not what happened, kind of, sort of, with the Walking Dead. I'm not really sure. Well, anyway. We've got Himway locked in on um, Sasakura? I believe so. Yes. Yeah, yes. and so now we've got, okay, so Sasakura versus, versus Maggie here. Uh, in in the uh, elimination final, so winner of this is going to go into grants. Uh, Himway's already been in the final side of things, knocked down, Ooh. reverse three would oh by Keith, gosh. and he's trying to warm up these guitars here to be able to go against them. We've got the highest dex guitars in the game, I believe, at eight. I don't know if he went into nine. If we were watching Gichibu, he would be at nine decks. Yeah, hundred percent. Whenever you have to think about it, you just know. Yeah. I mean, I feel uh, like you can feel it when you watch. Oh, I Bay, wonder. Right? I wonder if Loki will be in. Uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Anyways, Himway falling down there with that down air, tries to go for the down sig. End light comes through, and with the guitars, okay, that neutral signature being used in that way, probably the best way that I could see it. It's like yeah. it's like a pretty strong move. The downside of it is that like if you commit to it, you have this really beautiful animation that you have to watch for 90 frames. Yeah. And it's like, it's like that's not really. But it is pretty. Yeah, but uh, that's not usually the goal. Um, unless you're a Queen Eye player, then you know what? That your signature can last as long as you like, right? You just. If you're a Queen Eye player, if you're pressing the button, oh. it's because it's hit. Himway flies right off the stage. Little two ham hocks. And that's his own knockout effect. That's what happens when you just yeah. jump off. You just see, you see your own. <laughs> oh, man. And now, at this point, I mean, Laz is like, word? I think I'm just going to go ahead and try to close this game up right here. I mean, get myself, like, two side light nares, and then uh, I can start fishing for some really big hits. And there's one nair for you. There we go. Himway. Gets that touch. Tries to swat back off stage. Ooh, neutral light. Cuts him a little bit. Let's see what Laz can do here. He's been holding on to Axe for quite some time. Double dare nair. That's so much damage coming out. Um, Interesting. Yeah, D light neutral stick comes there. You know, I, I completely forgot that we can just see that Himway is confirmed on that deck stamp down there. So that's why. That's like oh, so, yeah, so let's go. Like, oh, yeah, I asked, we, we asked for that. We pushed for that. Now we have it. Last still on defense. Um, and he does take that stock. And, I mean, well, how many? You said, you said that Great Sword needs two good dodge reads. How many does the Katars need? Four? I mean, it depends. When you on go off stage, it's different. But on yeah. stage, oh, that Sarah, that Sarah caught him cannon saring. Actually, that was a, uh, was a close, uh, close spacing there. I feel like Great Sword needs two reads if you're like trying to just outright KO somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like for uh for Katars, it's like you also need two reads. But one read you use to get them off stage. The second read is when you get them off stage. I see. I see, I see, I see. And that's how I think about it. Um, that's actually a good way of thinking about it. But on stage, it doesn't quite work that way. Yeah, on way. stage, it's like you got to gotta hit them like for five years. Dude. <laughs> like and sometimes you will see it. We've seen those it's combos. True. And it's like, okay, they kept dodging down. and it kept. Uh, but uh, here we go. Himway is over. Three, two, the Sakura experiment one, is done. It's back on Taros. It's Axe versus Axe. Um, and I feel like on paper, this is a pretty good matchup for Taros because you're hitting hard against somebody who's got four defense. But that's not how that game actually works. It ends up being who's hitting each other more often in, in this case. Like, I feel like maybe Himway has to hit two less Axe airs than, than yeah. Laz does. But at, at the end of the day, You've got to be winning the, that neutral game. And Laz so far has been schooling him way with the axe. Yeah, I mean, Laz just in general today it seems to be getting people on the axe ditto. And so we're going to see if, uh, if Himway is able to kind of answer back on that. But Laz, I mean, look at the spacing, right? Oh, Ooh, that down six. Six. The last, very last swing actually coming through there. Oh, and he did that. That was so perfect. Weighed out everything. But Himway drifted so hard to the right. Um, that Laz used like 2022 axe air drift spacing. Yeah. Right? Like before it got, because now it's like with the swing, you can't drift quite as much. Didn't hit him on the way back to the stage. And Himway not only makes it back, 
but gets the dare to take the lead, and that that's huge, because I feel like Laz did everything right there except for the last swing. Yeah, it, it's always weird as well, just because, like, you know, when you, you, you try to hit oh, someone no. from below. Oh, no. And then, geez, this hammer, hold on. Like, okay, Laz was like, please stop, but like. Yeah, this is where you get into a little panic mode where you're just kind of like, okay, I just need one hit. And then you get hit eight times and you're like, I still need one hit. Uh, nice. Okay, Sarah does punish him way overextending. Granted, if Himway hit that side stick, that stock would have been deleted, right? Like, that would have just been Laz out, even at orange. Maggie has no chance of surviving a tariff side stick at the edge of the stage like that. Um, so I, I respect him for going for that risk, because he had gotten plenty of extra credit already. That, I mean, gosh, that down air almost sent Laz off the top of the stage on its own. Stops oh. there, disarms him, weapon throw. No dodge just yet, goes straight over the axe, wow. and neutral catches the dodge, and did he even land? I he think did. he did, he did. But it was like a, a bit of a surprise to me, because I think a lot of people would have opted to just go for the wall there, but kind of went for like the greedy dodge. Oh, he jumped stage. in and then tried to dodge through him? Yeah. yeah. But with that said, I mean, this one's looking like it's going to be a little bit tougher for Laz. I thought Laz started off this game very strong and then kind of started trailing behind as Himway started getting a lot of things going with this hammer. I mean, look at this. Oh, Nair, Nair, Nair. Still. Recovery stomp Sare. I mean, has him off the side of the stage. Game. If he goes off the regret, oh, he gets oh, and Sig. All right, Himway. Little much. I'm just like kind of confused. I'm like, what was the goal of that end sig? Because it wasn't going to KO. We, we both know that. It so may have been a misinput to end sig. I think he meant to haymaker. Mm. It's possible that he like messed up his uh, uh -oh. neutral over side thing. Oh, Laz uh, should die. Doing more damage with the sword here this game than he did the entire last set. Oh my goodness! Is him going to lose for that? That'd be so funny. Oh, oh Sarah comes dodge. through. Oh. Stop, Sarah. Bounce him off the stage, so he's living a little bit longer. Well, okay, so he's got hammer on. Oh, <gasps> Gravity kills the side stick, knocks the hammer. He kept a damaged hammer in his hands. <gasps> Gravity kills the downlight whiff, oh, and the no. scoop takes him off the top. No! Laz deserved that. I'm just going to say it. After after how Himway gave off uh, that, that, that last stock. I'm, oh. I'm right there, which I, I think he, for me it just stinks because you can see where Laz would have won, right? It's right, right there. Right, right, <laughs> it's right literally there. right and, and there. And then he just didn't wait. <laughs> he didn't fast fall. Gravity castles doesn't come through, and Himway's like, okay. And, and like, then he worried. downers him because it's like three <laughs> seconds without a dodge. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll hit you with hammer there. Oh, man. Um, That's tough. And then that, that to me, that yeah. was a very relatable mood because I feel like whenever I – come here and I have to cast people using sword, I feel like they can get their D-Light so much higher than I can. But then whenever I'm playing the game and I try to get my gravity cancel D-Light, I try to do it at like the height that I think should be like a character's height high, <laughs> and it always goes like right above their head. Like what makes them different? Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> Why are you allowed to hit right at the edge of the they top have of their it, box? I don't. Um, and there's different spacings there too, because there's like those gravity cancel sword D-Light that's like meant to catch grounded. And yes. then there's the one where you're trying to catch a dash jump. A dash and jump, and, and then, like, different. the in-between, right? Like, And Laz certainly would have gotten Himway if Himway jumped. Uh, but that's not what happened there. And now we're on to Enigma for game number three. So lots of platforms here to show off their movement if they so choose. Laz going to that top plat. Let's see what he's got. Dash forward, dash back. Falls with Sarah Himway. Neutralites off the side of the stage. Try it again. Last dash oh. dance right out of the way of that attack. And the neutral signature catches him going to the top plat. And he tries to get the down stick on the way down off that side plat. Stop, dared. And now Himway could take him off the top with another nair at this point. Sider, nice. that'll be it. Man, it was looking pretty good for last too. Up until that moment, I was thinking, like, huh, we're on Enigma. That's pretty rare. We don't get to see the tri plat too often. But I do like this stage for Axe. I think that, like, as far as extensions go, mm -hmm. it's one of the best you can get. Every time you sidelight Nair, you get to do a follow-up off the platform without having to burn a dodge. And that's, like, very strong, right? Like, last time we saw that neutral sig, but it's not like you had to gravity cancel it. You just do it because you're standing on the platform now. Oh! Neutral sig in the hardest read wave that I've ever seen. Um, I guess, yeah. I wonder what Laz was thinking, how he got that to work. That was really cool. I don't know, maybe just had a had a feeling, you know? I wonder if it hits uh, on, on the small Enigma plats. I don't actually know, but it, hit, it hit him so. way dropping down off the plat for sure. Like, I, I saw him way trying to fall through that platform. Either way, evens it up 2-2. Two two. Side lights forward, grabbing oh. cancel down That's the right height that he was looking for last game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> didn't, didn't end up hitting, but that dash, uh, dodge through side air. Comes through, and Laz has actually been getting a lot more mileage off the... Oh, oh. and then Taros to Jala. You yeah, the, right the ratio, the, <laughs> the, the, the eight force to four defense difference. 
uh, is really coming to play here. Oh, oh, you can't, you can't be hitting, you can't be taking that damage, Laz. That's a uh, hey, one gravity cancel sideline. Oh. It's like there, an even trade. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> all is balanced. Hammer oh. players are supposed to get like one string like that a set, you know, and not not across like multiple games. If you get hit like that, it's just like ah, makes it a lot harder to come back from. Cool. Yeah, Laz gets a call out with a side stick there, goes for the weapon okay. throw, side air. Himway does avoid a D like ground pound scenario there, and oh, then dash jump slider nice catches Laz out of a jump, has no dodge, wow. dive kick. Ground pound would have been great if he faded off into the push off column, but Laz just goes straight up. But this is uh, looking like Himway is going to be bringing it to match point at this rate. So, oh, oh. Huh, got the like really weak swing at the end of Axe recovery. Wow, and you can see Laz is playing like very reserved here. He doesn't want to miss, which I understand. You get hit one more time, and well. It's not going to be uh, very easy for you. So. Yeah. Slides off the stage with downlight. Does Himway want to risk it again? Does he want to risk it again? Let's find out. Cider hits. Okay, Laz. We saw what you had last game. The sword does go wild, though. I but think unarmed Nair. Unarmed Nair? Yeah, would even do it. Unarmed Enlight, maybe, you think? <laughs> no. All right. Well, well, we won't find out. So. Yeah. <laughs> Himway with a really crushing uh, victory there in game three. 2 1 now. The momentum lost from Laz in that game two, I think, is really being felt. And he and 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 Laz is tired of uh of losing star, stocks bro. early, right? It was bright orange, you know, and it was just like, hey, you're Jalo, right? <laughs> I got this thing oh. here, it was pre ordered with We've got a on. uh a Olgrim, the macho man coming in here for game two. I was wondering four. when this was gonna happen. To be honest, Two, <laughs> what's one, that? It's just that, like, Where you know. We just have Olgrim meta in all regions. I mean, if you're going the axe route, like, I actually expect to see minimal rocket lands from Laz. I, I expect just the same game plan, but the, with. The thing is, is that axe really dumps on, on Lance. I really feel that way, right? I, I've always felt I, that I way. feel that and, way. And as I well. think Lance is actually falling out of flavor of the month, I of, the, of the season. Because Axe is being played so often again, like even use is like I'm not playing Vector with. This I think side air drift changes yeah. really uh, made the Lance players want to put down there. Right, w when you miss, you feel yeah. it now. Now, when you hit, your the weapon's exactly the same as you remember it, right? But we just saw right there off the drift of that side air missing. He got hit by three attacks into an unarmed recovery. Neutral light catches him in the middle of the air. Lance knocked off of his hands. Neutral light into edge guard there. He's got a dodge back to the stage. Himway gets one stop. That's gonna be it. And last, I mean, he's really trying that <laughs> stop, and the gravity cancel stop was a was a call out and a half. Nair will do it. I was surprised that actually had enough force. And I was surprised. Yeah, that first stock was entirely rocket land, and when Laz, Laz finally got a chance to pick up an axe, immediately lost the stock. But I actually want to see what the Ulgrim axe does. You know, I, I mean, granted, it seems like he's picking the rocket lance into the hammer matchup. That's largely what we've been seeing this far, and clearly oh. has not been going well. Look at I, him. He's punishing the end of every misser with, I know, with like, stops. Well, <laughs> it, Thank it's, Lord. <laughs> it's it's pretty it's pretty interesting to watch actually. Finally, the Sarah comes through, and the first one that connects does knock out. But like, yeah, we're like, so for those that like, I mean, most people who who are watching the streams regularly and play the game regularly have an idea of it. But like, the the Lance Sarah drifts when it misses doesn't go nearly as far and is a lot more punishable at the end. Now. Um, and we've been seeing him way take advantage of that as Laz is kind of playing a Lance from the three patches ago, right? Yeah. Oh, man. And, like, Laz can't get nothing going here. Has another chance with the Rocket Lance yet again. I mean, lost a stock and a half, effectively, with the Rocket Lance earlier before finally getting a chance to try. And, honestly, this hammer from him just seems like Laz can't do jack about it. It's really looking tough. Okay, oh, he's dropping sideline. combos. And then Himway drops it. Okay, him oh. Himway. Oh, Himway's oh. like, bro, come on. He's like, dog. Oh, that's dog. that hurts. Dog. Oh. Oh. Nah, I'm sorry. That was that entire last oh. sequence was just Himway saying, bro, you're trash, bro, bro, bro. Like it was very, it was very. I am asserting the alpha energy, you know, <laughs> just stomp and look at a dude like. <laughs> oh. Let's see that in replay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, like, Laz misses that, and Himway's like, you seriously like, are going to miss that? Bro. And then he's like, look at how hard I'm bro. reading you. Oh, man. Oof. That was, oh, we didn't. We could have just watched the whole sequence there. Yeah, Himway really uh, let him know. Yeah, I had to join the step squad for a second the way he was just. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's, there's, like the, the there's, like, the little cap of, like, four years ago where it was, like, you stomped into nothing, and that was just, like, how he played. And then there's that, which was letting him know how 
how great of a read he had on what what he was doing out of those hits because each one of those stops was actually a neutral win and then he was kind of like i'm not going to get a follow-up off of this one or the next one or the next one ah the fourth one fine i guess i'll finish you oh yeah he, oh, he oh, made a comment about dirty. his flow chart you know he was yeah. like your flow chart is flow charting so when i do this you are going to do that and i'll show you i know by responding yeah. in the way that beats your flow chart every single time and like do you get it yet <laughs> it, it was almost like Ooh. a there's a moment when you're playing like traditional 2d fighting games okay and like a lot of the times you can flow chart your way through the rank ladder in traditional 2d fighting games just by like doing the same thing over and over and seeing if your opponent like gets it um and then like sometimes there's this moment where like you do the same thing three times in a row and then your opponent like recognizes it and they're like Whoa, wait, and you have like a learning moment? Yeah. Hopefully that's what that was there. I, yeah, well, I hope so too. Hey, Laz getting into that top three, really great for him. Goes down, takes a game off of uh, of his opponent before going down there at third. Uh, and now we've got Grand, which is going to be a rematch between Keith the Poo Poo and Himway. But before that, we've got a short break, and then after that, we'll be finishing up with Southeast Asia's Grand Final. <laughs> Welcome back. We're here with Grand Finals. Excited to be here, Flambo. This is just the start of this weekend. Yeah. It's the end of the day. Well, beginning of the day, depending. It's but, uh, that time where we get to crown our second. Second champion of the weekend. Second champion. Yes, that's right. Um, and uh, if you guys have been enjoying the championship here online, right, 
We've got the World Championship that's going to be in person here in Atlanta coming up pretty soon. Uh, you can check that out at bcx.live. And I say pretty soon, I'm saying November 3rd to 5th. And that's the beginning of November, and we're almost in October. Yeah. So it's like coming up. That's like, I think, less than two months. Well, oh, s- sign- yeah, like at this yeah. point. Uh, so, so the big deal about that, right, it's coming up fast. But what you've got is that if you go to bcx.live and you sign up, we've now got hotel blocks that are there as well that you can go ahead and snag if you haven't figured that out already. I mean, we've been telling people to get that figured out really early on, but if you haven't yet, well, guess what? We've graced you with an opportunity to get yourself a place to stay when you come down here in Atlanta, Georgia to enjoy everything that BCX has got to offer. So go sign up now. If you're worried about that, don't be. You can find some opportunities there. Um, and um, it's going to be exciting to see you all there. It's yeah, and no, it's always best to have, it, no matter what event you go to, if you have venue hotel, it's always just the most convenient if, you know, you go to the, the show floor and then mm-hmm. you're like, oh, I'm tired of walking. You just go right back to your room. It's right there. You don't have to yeah. take an Uber or walk across anything, and then you can hop right back to the act when you're recharged. So definitely check that out. Cobb Galleria. It's going to be great. It's going to be sick. But BCS. back to the Autumn Championship here. We've got Grand Finals in Southeast Asia, and it's Himway versus Keith the Poo Poo. Now, poo-poo. before, we had Himway going up with a solid 2-0 lead, and then Keith – Smacking him with a 3-0. Reset, or not reset, reverse 3-0. That's the word. Wrong R word there coming into that. Uh, that. But anyways, here, Grand Finals Three, two, on Apocalypse. One, this was the stage that Keith opened up um, with some crazy, like, dash land, dash jump, great sword nair pressure when yes. Himway was on the side plat. And then his great sword just actually carried while he was on the stage. Um, so let's see how that plays out here again. This is like a super, I don't know what's going to happen set. Um, we've seen him weigh on a few different legends when uh, he dropped into the elimination bracket, but the Terrace has been what has been the best for him so far. And Keith opening up strong uh, with a few pokes down the sideline and one end light finisher. All right. And so far, I mean, decent start for both of these players here as Himway kind of gets the full stage control here with the string. You can see Keith kind of trying to find his way back to center, but Himway doing a great job of maintaining it. And there we go. Has an opportunity here, Keith. Maybe looking for a side light, D light, or maybe... Yeah, there we go. It's interesting because you kind of have one of two options, really. Like, you, you go for a side light on Greatsword, and a lot of times people would go for the 50-50. Uh, but what Keith likes to go for, he actually likes to go for D light because, like, sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not. It's kind of very finicky depending on where on the side light you hit. Okay. But it is, like, extra guaranteed damage when it's guaranteed. And then he goes for the read off for the second hit. So I get it. I think he's trying to get more juice for a hit. Is he? I just realized he's using, like, that's like that's the Michelangelo nunchucks, right? <laughs> I think that's what that sword skin is. <laughs> that was so charming for me. Scooped off the top of the stage. Man, Keith's loadout is wild. A, a nunchuck nunchucks and a, and a giant popsicle. <laughs> yeah. That's a combination of somebody who likes to party. Yeah, I'm default J. Young. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Dripless J. <Jay-Yun. laughs> right. It's like I have so many swords. <laughs> Where's the <laughs> wizard? Wait, it's like the sword master of Brawlhalla not using swords. Yeah. He's just, he's actually just an anti meta on the lore there. Baron Dipidus would be furious. He needs another one to put in his mouth so he can be like, Doro. <laughs> well, what would his third weapon you know? if, he's got, if he's a swordsman with a nunchuck and a popsicle? What's the third weapon? I guess uh-huh. it could literally be anything as long as it's on a blade. A trombone. Ah. Yeah, yeah. Tr- we do, that, that A is a weapon in Brawlhalla, technically. I think that's a sword skin. Maybe that's uh, for uh, Xavier Woods. Yeah, 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 right? yeah, you got it. Yeah, yeah that's it. Uh, we well, go. he's, got, he's got options. Anyways, even up the game. Down air, just dash lands right out of there right after the down air hits. Very wow. quick conversion. Gets the end light finish into Nair. Good four hits. Him way goes for. He's gone for that gravity cancel down take a few times now and got punished for it. I wonder if he's going for ground pound. I'm not sure. Either way, Keith is like really running away with the lead now. Drifts up with the dare. No, gets hit by the neutral light instead. And now disarmed, has to run for that weapon. Dive kicks out of the way to avoid the down light. But Himway can stop Sarah him into oblivion. Should he find that hit? Most reacts instead. Okay. Ooh, can't take one more of those. That'll definitely be the end of the stock for Keith. Side air into the wall. Still not enough. Has to fastball around. Dodge? Who baited it with the nair while sweating? Himway thought he was done for. Is Keith going to take the stock after that? Getting hammer stared into the wall and lives? That'd be crazy. Okay. That was. I, I liked. Um, 
I don't think it's wrong to throw your weapon down so that you can cover your landing. Uh, him way just spaced around it pretty nicely. Yeah, and I think sometimes too, like you gotta make a call as to whether or not you're going to just give up the weapon if you realize the weapon throw that you did do is no good, right? So mm. like you kind of threw it to the side, and like I think we both knew like that's not hitting him. And then it's like, are you gonna go pick it up or are you just gonna Ooh. give it up? Nice edge guard. Yeah, everybody give it up for Keith Poo Poo for getting that stock. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> he did a he did like a slide charge side sig, um, and because he didn't gravity cancel it, like it froze him in the air with the animation when he throws up the pocket sand. Oh yes. wow, look at that! And then and then he just fell from that drift or fell from that frozen state to just get a side air afterwards. So that was really nicely done. And now he's even up the damage. Oh, he doesn't catch up with the opener. Yeah, I thought he was gonna go for dash a side too light. far. Um, because if he just sidelighted, he wouldn't even need to dash, right? Like, yeah. he just would have hit. And it's also just faster, you know? He's trying to punish something, go for Ooh. something that has less amount of frames. Lots of damage coming through here so far, though. But on that defense stance, it means it's not as much damage as he could be having. Let's see what it, if it matters. Sidelight exchange for sidelight. Himway gets one hit through there. Trying to stop those landings. Keith dashes forward in the air. Punished for that down air. Oh, and now he's weaponless, and Himway takes advantage. Okay, he's looking for that sword maybe now. Double on recovery. That recovery is now on the table here if he wants to be able to go for that. Oh! Gets caught by the back swing of the recovery. What a and call out. The stock. That's, yeah. um, it wasn't even that risky of one either because Himway was like drifting towards center. He really just caught Keith in the landing holding to the right. Yeah, well, let's see Let's see what Keith was doing there. Cause I don't even think Keith put out a move. Recovery comes right through there and yeah, he was just jumping and Himway was like, I'm going to call out your position in the air and he just didn't react. That's a, that's a hard timing to spot dodge, I feel like. Yeah, and it's also like, yeah. I mean, as you were saying, the risk reward is skewed in the favor of uh, Himway there just because Three, like at two, that point, I think one, Keith was unarmed. You he know? had sword. He had sword. He had sword. Okay. And I guess if he did jump out of the way, he could have sared on whiff. That's a, yeah. it's a hard move to whiff punish in the air when you're low on jumps. Um, Especially like narrowly avoiding the backswing like that. Yeah. Like, it would be pretty Because Himway was going towards center and he could just fast fall right afterwards. Yeah, it was just a really good call out by Himway that got him the win. And now Himway is two games Jeez. away from getting a reset and opening up pretty darn strong here on Demon Island. Uh, nice. Oh, didn't get the unarmed down air. That might cost the stock here. We'll see if Himway gets the turn around. Can he get the recovery? Goes for the stop instead. Himway hasn't really shown the like Pressure. traditional um, simple edge guards where you just go for fast fall hammer recovery three times, right? Yeah. He, he, has, he has not gone for that at all. He's actually just opted to go for a lot of stomps on stage. And honestly, I don't mind it because look at how consistent he is at finding them to the yeah. point where like he keeps threatening with stomp. You see the exclamation points start coming out and he may not even guess necessarily your landing correctly, but he will guess correctly where you're going to be mm -hmm. and then find a stock immediately to send you off stage. So it's like, fine, man. I mean, you got it like that. Keith. Needs to find something here, though. You know, these side airs. Oh, Ooh. he woke up with a button. I think Ooh. Keith was waiting for the iframes to run out so he could, Ooh. like, headlight or something. You, Three stomp combos in a row. Get the fourth on one. Here? He's just destroying Keith with all these landings. Falls with an air. Keith picks up the popsicle. Gravity cancel side light finisher, right? When you gravity yes, cancel great sword light attacks, you get, you get a slightly weaker but still potent finishing attack. Keith does that horizontal dodge back to stage, gets the recovery as Himway stops over the edge. Um, but Himway's gotten so much damage. Finally goes down to gravity cancel, do that recovery. The only time that I'll th see Keith uh, do these dash lands in quick succession is in between stocks. In between uh, stocks. And I feel like I feel like it has become the Brawlhalla dash dancing. It really has. Where it's like you're doing this thing that I, but but I'm not seeing it used in neutral. <laughs> but but it's used in between stocks very frequently, right? You know what I'm talking about? Like you yeah. take a stock and you just like rapidly <laughs> dance as yeah. much as possible. It, like, it, it's replaced that, right? It's funny too because like for greatsword, it, it makes it, it changes the weapon completely. To be honest, uh -huh. just because like so much of like playing that weapon oh. before oh. revolved around like crap, am I gonna backdash? <laughs> and, and that really like changes your ability to do things. And so like now that you can decide which way you're facing, it like changes the whole game. Yeah. Stop. Nice. Okay. Gets the delight insider there. He's back. And Keith is back. I feel like Keith has been getting knocked around by Hammer this entire game, and yet he's kept it even. Uh, end light finisher gets oh, punished there, and Himway there. dashes straight forward. So many nares. And he actually nares through Keith's weapon throw, but that's a great punish on the down sig. Keith loves that combo, uh, going for the D-Light Bridge, end light finisher into nair right afterwards. Those four hits have been getting on the Himway a ton. Yeah, especially since he had the dodge from oh, Himway there. Oh, he dodges stop Sare? Since when? 
Oh, not that up. one. He's so good. I mean, it's like, it's, oh. you, you can feel the nervousness about getting hit by Stomp. Like, the presence of the move is just so, like, suffocating, it seems, for literally every single person that him was had to fight today. Like, yeah. It, it, they can't seem to get around it. I, I don't know what it is. Oh, and Keith, uh, for the first time, is bringing out a different character here. He's locked what in the Surrey. Surrey. Hmm. A Surrey. It's what it's what happened to, uh, in the sets Three, two, prior to this too, one, right? Four. And it's like, okay, could have brought out a Mako. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the great sword was what was keeping Keith in it. Now it could just be that Keith's got the nastiest guitars in Southeast Asia, and we're about to see it. All right, neutral light, down air, puts him on the side of the stage, side light. What else he's gonna do there? Misses down air. Oh. She's nice. immediate stomp and light. So cool there. Stomp side air puts Keith off the side of the stage too. Forces him to recover low. D like ground pound whiffs. Rough. Yeah, lucky break for Keith there. I mean, this is. I, I, it seems like Keith needs an answer to deal with Hammer, which isn't something that I really thought I was going to say this it's year. It's going to be like a. Uh, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But he, he seems to be struggling with that matchup. And Dunks that him send off stage. into the stage, and he gets the extra sair. And doesn't even have to go to the end guard there. Nicely done. It didn't send off stage, but Keith was quick to react to that situation with that Sair as Hemway just went back in the stage. And Keith does take the lead on the Asuri. Okay, but this is Hammer. I mean, look at the, these dash lands. <laughs> he's like, like I'm going to no stop. No wonder he's always landing them. It's like, he, it oh. looks like he's teleporting on you. All right, Keith actually was starting to do a good job punishing the whiff stomps from Himway. Like, if Himway is going to make it so obvious what his game plan is, I think Keith was like, I just want a weapon that's going to be able to punish every whiff stomp, which he didn't feel, I guess he didn't feel as confident yeah. in the great sword. I, I don't know. Um, he still has the axe to deal with, though, and, and Himway is perfectly comfortable on oh. both weapons, as we can see. Well, that was a perfectly timed dodge from Keith there, because otherwise that would have been just stopped on there, as he's just trying to find a weapon here, as Himway is doing such a great job of hovering around, keeping him starved as well. and. Himway does a lot of like, oh, oh reached. Wow, yeah, caught him with here. a dash jump, unarmed Sair. Oh, oh, he, he go touched. Out there and ground Even Keith was surprised. Like, Keith actually kept fastballing, and it was like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sair doesn't hit him on the way back down. And Himway, that's going to be two edge guards now that Himway's dropped this game. Where if Keith takes the stock lead again, that's off the back of that. Okay, there he goes. Gets the stomp Sair. Surprising. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, for this game, it is. He hasn't been hitting too many of them. Um, and Keith equalizes pretty quickly. I think uh, Himway is going to actually favor the Axe for the rest of this game. Let's see what he's got prepared here. Keith tries to get a Nair afterwards. Side light and light into Nair. Dodges up. Dodges out. But gets no hits. And Keith is starting to attack on more and more damage. Okay, let's see. I feel like based off of the way things are going, like I feel... Like, Himway's going to be able to just go ahead and reset the bracket here, but Keith, of course, trying his best to stop that. Has a pretty good lead as of this moment. For some reason, I still feel like Himway got it. Yeah, you sound like me in Winner's Finals. <laughs> I guess so, yeah. <laughs> How <the> time <laughs> tables. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, and then somehow Keith finds a way. Um, uh, oh, but Himway might just uh, be making this a 3-0. Against all of them. Oh. Okay, full, fully charges that down take there. I mean, just a bit. It was like an 80% charge. Okay. He went a little bit longer. Maybe he could have gotten it. Keith gets the recovery. That's game just barely. Okay, yeah. Just enough juice on that one. So it looks now, like I was wrong on that. Does him weigh? No, okay. He's, he's, he's staying. I love the edge guard right there that we just saw. The neutral sign in the Sair. Yeah, just um, like extra swap. I feel like a lot of players would have been like, what? That didn't dunk. And then just go back to center. And then he like covered his way back to the stage. Um, so this is a little spooky because if Himway goes down uh, to game five, there's that chance where he might be like, I have to play a different legend. And if that happens, because he, he did it he did it in elimination final. He, he brought out the Lin Fei just for a second. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, if he does that here, I think Keith's got the reverse 3-0 again because I truly believe that Keith brought this out to punish Hammer Stomp. We saw one Stomp Sair really kind of come through strong last game. Um, and then Himway's kind of been relegated to playing with the axe. So let's see if that makes a difference. This could just be a 3-1 into a bracket reset. Um, but Keith's guitars are actually looking pretty good. Yeah, no, I, I agree. You know, I feel like just, like, me to have a weapon with a button fast enough that I can just, like, hit the thing when it misses, right? Mm -hmm. Seems to be, the, like, base plan here. And also just, like, it's a weapon that you can kind of, like, 
fish for damage, and if you miss, it's not like the biggest deal. You Whoa. Know, not a whole lot of uh, end lag on a lot of these attacks. That here. was so clever. Himway picked up the weapon from one platform and then just dashed over to the other platform and picked up the other one and caught Keith fishing for both. Uh, really well played there. Really fast decision making. Uh -huh. You know, it, it's like. He's done that a few times throughout the day, too, where he's like, he's played around one weapon spawn, made it look like he was going to keep that weapon, and then he actually snatches the other one. Um, he's very good at it. Oh. Ooh, nice dodge again on the side air. Yeah, just reacting barely. Oh. And that's a great chop from the neutral sig of I mean, Keith. Himway was at light orange into losing that stock and Keith took five damage. That was that was an amazing uh, way back into the game. Always feels good when you manage to get, because I feel like Asuri, uh, despite having like strong signatures like that, when we saw it in the last game, like can feel like they often just barely hit the stage, um, but yeah. when they don't, you know, that's what happens, so. Yeah, it's, uh, it, they're, they're certainly, um, uh, it, as popular as a Suri is, I've never felt like a Suri signature kit was broken. It always yeah. felt like, it's like, you kind of actually have to work really hard to get these to work right. <laughs> like, if, it's one thing to hit them, it's one thing to, it's another thing to hit them where they're supposed to hit. Especially the, the most potent ones, right? Because, like, Qatar down sig, like, yeah, I've always looked at that sig and been like, yeah, I can just throw this one out. It doesn't yeah. really mean anything, but, like. pre stacked and it's pretty powerful. It's like it's like a axe neutral light that's just really good. Yeah. Um, ooh, unarmed recovery hits, but the stair bounces him off the side of the stage. Keith looks like he's gonna be going down. Okay, no, him wait. Oh, that happened in the in the winner's final set too. It doesn't hurt him there, but it does feel like Himway is super hesitant to actually finish edge guards on hammer. Um, when there's no options left. Which is very interesting. It's very like the opposite of. Java, you yeah. know, but this is the opposite of a lot of hammer players in general. I think in terms of just like Himway's game plan and the way that he's approached things thus far, he's been consistently winning on stage so much with the hammer that it feels probably like that he's giving people unnecessary opportunities to like get a reversal on him. Oh, how I think about it. Keith doesn't jump with the side air, ends up getting punished for that. And then there, Sarah hits. I think Himway's got this. He's going to bring this to a bracket reset. Sarah into the side of the stage. Keith drifts off to the left. That's game. Flambo, we've got a 3-1 for Himway, but not a champion yet because that was Himway coming into the elimination final. Keith losing his first set of the day. It's a bracket reset. Okay. Oh, look at the damage from Keith that game. It was actually abysmal. It it's was very low. Oh. Oh, I see. It was 2A total and it was like it was like 70 with guitars and like 144 with sword. It was like low. Mm. He, had, he, had, he almost had triple digits with the uh, with unarmed. And Keith is bringing out a special Whoa. pick here. Bryn coming through. I think um, in the grand final Three, reset, two, we might be in the state one, of the game where Keith is like, I'm going to keep trying new things until it works. You know and what? That, that legend report list is going to go pretty long. I'm okay with that. As long as you find something that works, you know? But yeah. I'm sure Keith is thinking the same thing, right? The Asuri didn't look so bad as to where I thought it was a desperation pick. It does look like he's trying to answer to Himway's game plan, and he doesn't think that he's got the answer with the great sword currently. That's how I, that's how I'm reading it anyways. And now I'm curious because I'm like, did you pick a Bryn for the spear at all, or is it just the SIGs? Or I, I'm, I'm very curious. Could be the movement speed. Uh, Bryn is a deceptively fast character. I think it's like... Five 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 seven or something. Okay. Like it's like a really good stat spread. I don't, I don't quite remember exactly. Uh, he's doing default stance as well. Or he could have just literally just picked a character on the screen. I don't really know. Just said YOLO. Think about, yeah. Oh, nice wow, spot dodge spot on the down sig. That was his land landing spot dodge there saved him. Falling dare. That'll be the stock. Keith goes up in game one here in the grand final reset. Okay. Let's see. Can Himway strike back? I mean, has been so good finding these stomps. We'll probably get one in probably like the next five seconds or something with the way things have been going. But we just get a raw air here and potentially an edge guard. Does go for a scoop. Has oh. never gone for those fast fall recoveries. Um, Not once. Yeah. And the more that I look at it, the more that I'm like, actually, Keith has got a little bit of an advantage state when he goes off stage. He's like, like Himway's the one hammer player that you can actually use on armed recovery against. Uh, and it's like, it, with it no fear of getting yoinked. Doesn't feel terrible. Um, Himway does get the stock, though. Took a little bit of damage, but not much to scoff at. And here we go. Can Keith find a weapon? One kick comes through. Here's the spear. Does he use it? Well, we're going to find out. Okay. You can see trying to get tricky with the movement here. And just seeing if you can 
figure out a way to get close enough to put out a hitbox before even worrying about like what that hitbox is gonna be. Ooh, falling there. Sidelight and air comes through recovery. Gets hit by the gravity cancel sidelight side air. Huge. Oh. Falling Sarah catches Keith swinging on the way back to the stage, and that was just a great edge guard coming out from Himway. Yeah, Himway's been doing such a good job just like across the board of like finding those early KOs on people, like light orange side airs that are just removing the stock. But I mean, luckily, or I won't say luckily, skillfully perhaps from Keith. Yeah able to turn things around there. In the same way that Himway is getting those early stocks, Keith actually equalizes every single time in the craziest way possible. Like, okay, this deficit's hard to come back from. Two D light ground pounds, okay, fine. Uh, we're, we're back to an even game, one to one. Uh, Himway, Nairs, Nairs galore. Finally, somebody gets a connection there. Keith with the edge guard opportunity. Dare swinging. Nice neutral light, puts him off the side of the stage. Waiting for a dodge there, okay, went for a hard recovery read and Himway actually hits him with his own. Yeah, this is silly, just hearing the sounds of whiffing axes over and over, you know, but they're just having such a tough time hitting each other, but maybe not now as Keith gets that side air, gets to punish with that down air as well. The down thing almost sent straight up, looking a little disastrous, but not enough to KO. And now it's coming down to some of the final hits here. As Disarms him. This could be big. No, doesn't get that neutral light. Oh, the weapon actually despawned before he got to it. Luckily, a new one came right through. Sarah disarms oh, Keith, oh, and he dive throw. kicks into the weapon throw. Can he make it back? He can't. And Himway celebrates on stage after a close game. I mean, so close that he had a damage deficit with that victory there. Um, Taros, baby. Yeah, Taros hits hard. Uh, even damage between weapons, basically. That sidelight sider there was it's huge. This stock right and here. that, and so he like, he like jumps. Looks like he's going to fade back to stage. Turns right around, fast fall stairs. And uh, that was huge. I mean, a lot of moments there from Himway kind of carried the game. And, the, and Keith is doing that thing Three, that Keith did in two, Winner's Finals, one, where roll. I feel like he's behind the entire time. And then he does this weird thing that gets a really early stock, and then Himway wins anyways, except uh, in, in Winner's Finals, actually, Keith just clutched three times in a row. Um, so far, he's only been able to do that in one game. Yeah, because one of the thoughts that I had watching that winner set was that, like, okay, I think Keith was able to get this set, but if you told me that these players, like, played, like, a, a best of 10 or something, or, like, mm -hmm. a first to 10, I actually had Himway winning that, like, Yeah, like, if head. it was first to 10, it would be 10 to 4 or something. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of what I felt watching that first set. And so I was like, now that they have to, like, play more, I feel like the longer it goes on, the more it's in the favor of Himway. But we'll see if Keith is able to kind of turn things around. But so far, not quite looking that way. Yeah, first strike goes over to Himways. Taros picks up a fresh axe. And then Sidelight Nair, ground pound, almost gets the downlight afterwards. Nair and a ground pound. Keith just taking a ton of damage, hits a downlight sider on Spear, just throws the weapon away. Dive kicks up the side of the stage, and he's unarmed again, Flambo. This, is, this has been brutal. OK, right. stops, the, stops the damage finally. Yeah, finally. At this point, you got kind of kind of beat up a little bit there. I mean, Himway been playing really strongly, but Keith gets a nice little string here that he brings things pretty recovery. much back to even. So that's exactly what he needed. And now it's a matter of who can get this hitbox first. So I that, can't that, believe that. That light looked like it sucked him in. It, it was really like a, did. He had, he had a vacuum at the end of his uh, of his axe. Oh, Himway with the That's recovery? the first one? That's the first one. Wow, I wonder where that idea came from. I bet you Keith is like, what he, the heck? He hits that and he goes, wait, hammer's broken. <laughs> He's like, I, I didn't realize. Recovery reversals? Yeah, no, that's really great edge guard. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to give him away so much credit as to say that he's been conditioning Keith. I just don't think he goes for it very often. No, I feel but maybe way. maybe he'll go for it more after that success there because that was a decently early stock. Oh. Sarah disarms him, though. Dodges through. That was actually a great recovery from him, right? Keith got a little, uh, little. Uh, wow. Pull out of the gun there, trying to go for that, uh, the edge guard. Let's see what he can do. Gets kicked away. Oh, Nair. I thought it was going to be a recovery. Stomp Nair. Side six to dodge the, the weapon throw. He was, <laughs> he was like, I, I, I will refuse to back oh dash. God, right? Three times in a row. He would rather side six out of the way of a weapon throw than back dash. I know. Uh, <laughs> That I am out of here. Mm, what's it gonna be, Himway? How are you gonna finish this one? Down sig? Side air. If you get a chance to land it, I feel like when you're fishing for side airs, that's when they don't wanna come. Yeah, which is why. Oh, wait, Keith. 
Uh oh, Himway. Dude, anytime Himway's in this last hit scenario where he's fishing for one attack, I know Keith knows it. Finally, switches over to the hammer, gets the stop there. Okay, he's up 2 0. Keith might have lost five games so far, but he only needs to win three. That is fair. Some things are factual. <laughs> I don't know how likely it's currently looking. He's staying with the believe. Bryn. He's ride or die on the Bryn. Mm. This one's tough. Man, that... It's hard stop there to hit when you get to, like, drift away. I, I feel like it, it's a hard in terms of, like, positioning, but easy in terms of the, like, the setup, right? Because yeah. something I've been talking about for, like, I don't know, probably as long as I've been casting Brawlhalla is just, like, how... As far as like a mental stack goes, you can only keep track of so many things that are happening on screen at once. Mm -hmm. And that weapon spawns ultimately always mess with that mental stack because you're always thinking in terms of the weapon that the character you're fighting has currently in their hands. And so when you dash over to a weapon and do something immediately with it, your brain's not able to even like scout out the options because it wasn't something you were holding before. Oh, and so you always like, the amount of like tournament sets that have just ended by someone doing immediate weapon pickup into SIG or attack is like through the roof. Yeah, there's been quite a bit. And it's always crazy every time I see him. Like, wow, that was so, that was so smart. But it'll never stop being good. <laughs> you yeah. know, it's, it's impossible to react to because you have to like preemptively think they're going to grab the weapon and then these are the options they have when they have Ooh, it. Like that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> grab, <laughs> yep. Grab the weapon and immediately stared. Like as he was falling out of the sky from after he grabbed it. Nair comes through. Um... Silent comes forward, dodges that weapon though. He's been doing a lot of those weapon like lobs almost, where it's like the lowest amount of force to it, but it stays active very long, and Himway's been playing around them quite well. One Nair hits, exchange for down air, Keith gets the end light. Okay, edge guard opportunity there, but the weapon throw goes low again, and Keith, is he gonna be impatient with the edge guard? No, he gets hit by the stomp, weapon throw pickup. Himway hit by Nair, I mean, goodness, he's, yeah, he doesn't a, care. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll take a Nair. Give me this stomp. Once the, yeah, once the stomp comes through, I'm like, ah, oh, Keith, it might be too late. There's one. These weapon throws. What? It's been like four in a row. Jeez. Yeah, stomp's there. Uh -oh. He chase dodges so far out there. At end light, not even going to do it. Weapon throw. Nah, he's going to dodge. dodge. Yeah, I can't back. <laughs> oh, right, unarmed Sare. Man, Jeez. I remember like in like 2016, Unarmed Sarah was like the best knockout move in the I game. know. And I'm so glad that's been nerfed. That was awful. There was like a whole like six months where people would be like, they'd throw away their weapon because you could just stare around this, this, the stage for like ever. And like, Stop that. And like, no, I'm punching you in the face. And it's like, all right, cool. It's like, Sarah, admittedly, Sarah it, was fun, it, was fun. it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun and it was funny for a little bit. And then, uh, and then it stops. And then it stops. Keith uh, brought this game back so well, actually. Neutral light hits. Edge guard, weapon throw, hits him as he's using the recovery. He's only got dodge here. And oh, no diagonal. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, him, boy. Beep, beep. Who got the keys to the Jeep? Oh, sideline to nothing? Okay. Dare hits. Dude, I think the the, meet, the beep beep just actually like pushed Keith off the off the edge. Yeah, that, that was it. You can't <laughs> take it anymore. Oh, he just waits and he neutralizes the dodge in out of hit stun. I think we might see our champion soon. Oh, Himway avoids the neutral sig, hits the sair. Is this the edge guard flambo? Well, he misses the stomp. It won't be. It will probably be the next stomp. No. Oh! Backswing of the hammer. Stomp sair. Keith gone. Himway. Is your C Autumn champion here for singles. What a win there coming out over Keith and a double elimination over the player that knocked him into the eliminations finals, right? Like, uh, really well played. 422 damage on the hammer there. Very dominant performance. Um, and I would go as far as to say, other than Keith, nobody really contested him way, I feel like, um, uh, in, in this bracket. Yeah, because I'm, I'm thinking about it and I'm like, so... That means that, what, second set was a 3-0. Mm -hmm. um, first set of grands was a 3-1. Yes. Uh, so that means that puts them at 6-1. And then winners was, what, a reverse? It was a 3-2. Okay. So. That puts them at 8-3, right? Yeah, yeah. So, so, no, no. Keith took four games in total. Okay. And then and then it was eight games in total for, um, for him. For him. Yeah. So, overall, so I would say that, like, yeah. Solidifies that him way. Yeah, <laughs> Definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. Keith. Like we were getting, like we didn't get quite to the, the first to ten, 
But we got pretty, we got yeah, pretty close. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And Himway coming into this tournament with that PR1 is definitely securing PR1 for the year um, yes. in Southeast Asia before BCX comes in. Congratulations, Himway. What a win. Um, yeah. yeah. That's no, all I've got for that. No, no honestly, it was kind of – we watched it. We saw uh, the hammers looking good, you know. Uh, not much in terms of, like, the offstage, but didn't really need it, you mm. know. So, like – Who's to say any adjustments really need to be made there, at least in terms of the competition that Himway is going up against. But tomorrow, we're going to have more Brawlhalla singles action for the Autumn Championships at 11 a.m. Because, you know, we got some other regions. Oh, 11 a.m. Eastern. 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 Aren't we yes. going to, like, Universal Standard Time soon or something? Dude, like that? don't even. No, something <laughs> happened. and We can't talk about it. It's fine. It's <laughs> 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 some weird America stuff. No, yeah. 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Check it out tomorrow. Be there for Europe and South America. We're excited to see you there. See you then. Ones or when they like they do the like, slight oh down to get to get oh! oh okay and the down air Jerry K is not making it back but that was kind of the way side would approach yeah and I, I'm like watching this and I'm like bro like okay oh, he's the dropping light. combos and then Himway drops it okay him, oh Himway oh. Keith doesn't jump with the side air ends up getting punished for that and then there Sarah hits I think Himway's got this he's gonna bring it to a bracket reset Sarah to the side of the stage. Keith Dude, anytime Himway's in this last hit scenario where he's fishing for one attack, I know Keith knows it. Well, this is the stop. It will be. It'll probably be the next stop. Oh! Back swing of the hammer. Stop, Sayer. Keith, gone. Himway is your C Autumn Champion here for singles. What a win there coming out of Keith.